well, hello everybody. <laughs> Hopefully we don't have any problems. Um, my PC has blue screened a couple times today. So I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> but welcome back everybody. Hopefully you had a good day so far. Um, hopefully some of you got a chance to see the eclipse as well. Oh, you're going down? Okay. Good job, Snappy. Um, hopefully you <laughs> had a good time getting to see it. We had like a 58% eclipse here in Orlando, so it wasn't too much, but it was very cool still to get to see and it was sunny, so it was clear and clear and stuff for us to see. Yeah, she can jump by herself, Maz. I mean, she could always jump by herself. It was at least down. She has a harder time getting up. Um, but it, it's more that when she was loopy, I didn't want her to jump down because I was worried she was going to fall and hurt herself. Because um, she was being a little stumbly. Like, I was worried about her uh, unsuccessfully getting down and like getting injured. <laughs> um, but I think now that she's not really on drugs as much, she's not as loopy. Oh, she's able to lick her tail. Good for you. She's not been able to groom herself much with that thing on her head, so. <laughs> I'm glad that you can lick your tail snap. That's, that's good news. <laughs> um, what are we doing? We're gonna farm a little bit. Um, that is the plan for today. We're gonna do a little bit of Stardew. Oh, really, Echo? That's so cool. Yeah, it's, the eclipse is so fun to see the pictures of and stuff. I watched, um, I watched NASA's stream uh, for a while earlier today when it was like the first totality was happening um, in like Texas, and that was just really cool. <laughs> I was like getting kind of emotional watching the the live stream. I felt silly about it, but I was like, this is so fun because <laughs> like the the hosts of the stream were getting emotional and like the whole crowd was like yelling, and I just it was kind of fun to watch the the stream of it. Um, it's kind of scary, the like the the total eclipse with the darkness and stuff. Um, but yeah, it was cool to get to see, so. So emotional. Yeah, I can see why people, like, other people feel that way too. It's just a lot. It's weird. <laughs> Your street lights came on? Oh, because they're probably, like, like they have sensors, I, I bet, right? That's so interesting. That's really cool. It didn't get dark here at all. Um, it did feel a little bit cooler outside. Um, not cold, but, like, not hot. <laughs> you know? Uh, but it didn't get dark here at all. It was only 58%, so. Um, but it's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Got really dark and cold, but couldn't see the sun. Yeah, it's been cloudy in a lot of places. Um, a bunch of my friends have been like in the path of it. Um, like my friend Sasha in Texas was in the path of it, but they didn't see anything because it was so cloudy. <laughs> um, and like Miv and, and then they, uh, they could see it too, but it was cloudy, so you couldn't really, <laughs> which is very sad, but um, just seemed overcast, no darkness. Oh, really? That's so interesting. Um, yeah, it's really interesting to, to hear about all of it. I'm gonna actually really quickly try and fix my cat cam. Um, so I can show you all the cat. I have to move it so that we can see it better. Okay, how do we how do we feel about this? Oh, poor Snappy. <laughs> She's so funny looking. It's your birthday today! Oh my gosh, happy birthday. I was looking up um, when the- I'll actually show you. I was looking up when the next total Eclipse is gonna be um, here in Florida and it's in 2045 and it's on August 12th and we're gonna be in the path directly. So yes, it's 20 years away, but my birthday is August 14th. So <laughs> big birthday event for me in 2045. <laughs> really exciting stuff. <laughs> um, so that's kind of funny, but um, I'll hopefully be there. <laughs> birthday gift. Okay, anyway, welcome back to the stream. If you were not here yesterday morning, I was live for a little bit yesterday morning. Um, we actually managed to max all of our skills. Um, so that's kind of cool. We like unlocked this new special room and stuff that we are starting to work on. Um, we don't have any of the stuff in there yet, but we have like this mastery star thing so we can keep earning XP and then buy mastery points. It's kind of the idea. So um, we just got that at like the end of the stream. The last thing I did was go in there. <laughs> Um, so that was kind of cool. We're on the day 28 of spring year two. So we have just today and then tomorrow is the first day of summer. So we're kind of, um, it's time for us to get ready <laughs> and, um, and set everything up for the next season. We have like 400 starfruit seeds that I bought or something ridiculous like that. So we're going to make a lot of money. <laughs> Snap is more beautiful than the eclipse. I mean, she looks kind of like the sun. So don't worry, chat. If you couldn't see the eclipse today, 
Well, I have something better. <laughs> this is the moon covering the sun. Her head covering the flower. <laughs> She's dressed for the occasion. She's ready. When she moves around like that and you can't see her whole body, you just see the head, so she's just like moving a little. Because what she was just doing was like readjusting her arms, but you can't see her arms. So she just looks so weird, floating head, <laughs> jumping around. She has to wear the cone for two weeks, Blue Sparrow, unfortunately. So um, next Tuesday, she's getting her stitches out and that's when she can take the cone off. So she still has another week left, pretty much, um, until she can have the cone off. But it doesn't bother her that much. Um, I don't think that it's messing with her too much. She's, she's for the most part okay with it, so, um, it is sad, but, <laughs> uh, but it's, it's hopefully not too uncomfortable for her, so, she's doing okay. She's doing okay. Like the cat from Alice in Wonderland, but cute. There you go. <laughs> um, she is better than an eclipse. You're welcome, chat, that I have, uh, gifted you this cat today. Okay, well, we have just today left before um, we have a lot to do next season. Oh, a fried mushroom. You found that in your scrap pile, you just said? Huh, lucky lunch. Oh, good. That's also fun. Well, I wanted to show you all. So um, this is actually bad news. <laughs> We're having a bit of a crisis in this household today. Um, oh, Dan's still not live. Does that mean that his stream didn't work? Or has he not gone live yet? Well, what I was going to say is that Dan's PC won't turn on. So at all, like at all, we think it's a power supply issue. He's been trying to fix it, cannot get his PC on. So he was planning on streaming from his laptop today to see if it would work. We don't know how it's gonna go, but he's having some serious computer problems. <laughs> and then my, he's like texting me that he's like, my PC won't turn on, like I'm all stressed. I was trying to record and then <laughs> my PC blue screened. So I don't know how this happened to both of us at the same time. His is worse because my PC at least is on. Like I'm able to use my computer, but his computer will not turn on at all. So we're going to have to um, figure out a solution for this. <laughs> but um, not not so good, actually, that his still to this day, after to this day, but all day, I mean, he's not able to get it to work. Um, but anyway... Just bad luck. There wasn't a power surge. No, Kristen, it wasn't the same time. It just was the same day. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Dan's PC is like super dead right now. Um, so we're still trying to figure out that. Um, I'm kind of stressed about it, to be honest, but it'll be fine. Could it have been a Windows update? No, no chat. <laughs> Um, it's not there. It, we're, we're facing a, a greater issue than just that. <laughs> Um, we're having some more issues. I've been having PC issues for months though. Um, this is the first time it's happened to Dan and and his is worse because it doesn't work at all. But um, hopefully the board isn't fl fried. That's what we're worried about, but we'll see, Blaze. We'll see. Hopefully we do not have any issues. Okay, well anyway, we gotta figure out our seed layout today. Um, all we, I have bought starfruit seeds for that area already. So I know that we're gonna have starfruit there. We're gonna have to buy new seeds for these three sections. Um, so we'll do that tomorrow on day one of summer. We just gotta make sure we have enough and like we know what we're gonna be trying to do. Um, I also think I might try and see about having Robin build me another one of these things. But we'll see about that as well. Um, lots to do, lots to do. Where's Squid? I don't know where the cat is. I was just thinking that because I was trying to look for it when I was over there and I was like, I don't know if I can tell where the cat is. <laughs> so I'm not actually 100% sure on that one. I don't really know. <laughs> oh, you know what we could try and do instead as maybe like an interesting way. I'm gonna try and clear up some of this bluegrass. I think I might put the, um, I might move the bee houses over here into this section. Thought you meant shrimp in real life? No, 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 no. Squid. Please don't break, please don't break. There you go, thank you. Oh my gosh. Um, but I might move them down this way. I'm also gonna make some more paths. I think this will help us. Oh my God, one too few. Yikes. 
You're stuck in an ad? Uh-oh. <laughs> Squid is the Stardew Valley cat, Maddie. <laughs> it's the name of our cat in this save. Um, I, it was not over by the water bowl when I went to fill the water, so I'm not sure where it is right now, but... Um, I haven't unlocked the island yet, Em, no. We're, we haven't unlocked it on purpose, though. I was kind of holding off until we've done a little bit more around here before I went and, like, jumped all the way to doing that, I think. Um, but I'm not really sure what I want to do with it yet. Um, or how would I- I don't- I'm not really sure when I want to do it yet, I guess I should say. Because, well, first of all, we don't have enough stuff to do it yet. So we can't even if we wanted to, but, um, I kind of wanted to wait a little bit longer until I had gotten more done on the farm. You know? Dan is live? Oh, he's live. I'm actually kind of curious to see what his stream is looking like. Because I wonder if it's going to be, like, super laggy while he's trying to stream from his laptop. He has to look down to look at the chat. <laughs> no way. Thank you so much. Doing a okay, you can hear a buzz from my microphone. I don't know how to fix it. It doesn't matter what I do. Okay. That is the, kind of annoying. The stream itself might be laggy at times. Who's to say? Who's to say? Oh, do you know what we could do though? We could turn on this instead. This is fine. I can't okay. believe he has to play from his laptop. So, <laughs> He's on his laptop okay. because his PC is dead. Great. It won't turn on. We're having a bunch of problems. Anyway, it's kind of interesting. <laughs> Poor Dan, good luck. <laughs> um, not my problem, at least my computer works, you know? Yeah, at least, I mean, his background looks good still, obviously. Everything else is fine. It's just that he's on his laptop. It's going to be really slow, and <laughs> it doesn't really work right. Okay, I have to figure out a better layout for my bee houses. I also think that I might try to make a couple more bee houses. Let me see what we can do. Um, I need to see for the bees... What do you need to make? Oh, iron bars. Oh my god. I never have enough iron bars in this stupid game. Maybe I shouldn't make more bee houses. Because I need to make more kegs. That's a bigger priority, but we'll see. Inventory full? Oh my god. Fairy rose honey is the most lucrative? Yeah. <laughs> and we're, we're getting into fairy rose season, so... Now is our time to shine. Um... Okay, sell so all of that stuff. That's fine. Okay. Do I play any other farming games besides Stardew? Um, I've played a few games that are sort of similar to this. Things like um, Coral Island, Fae Farm that came out earlier this year. Um, so we've played a few things like that. Uh, hopefully that answers your question. Let me look up some pictures. Bee house layout in... Stardew. We're not gonna have that many of them. There's like so many people like really try to optimize it So they'll do stuff that's like really fancy I'm not all that concerned with making like the fanciest thing in the world <laughs> um, I'm mostly just interested in having it be kind of cute. I think um, and and effective for what we need Let me show you kind of an example of like this is not really a fancy layout, it's just bees around a sprinkler. That's more like along the lines of what we're gonna do, maybe a little bit fancier than that. But then you see people on online that will do stuff like this, where it's like, how can I maximize the bee houses with just one flower? <laughs> um, and I'm not that worried about doing all that. This one's kind of interesting. We're not going to have enough bee houses to do all of that. <laughs> That's a little bit more than we're going to be able to handle. <laughs> but we can do something. For this, you need like 16 to go around this, right? How many bees do I have right now? 12? Oh, we can make... We can make like 16. That's not too bad. Maybe I'll make another quality sprinkler too. It's lagging? Oh my god. Oh, it's not lagging on my end. It's Twitch again. It's Twitch again. I can't, um, I can't do anything about that chat because it's Twitch that's causing it. Um, so I don't really know what to do about that one. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think I can, I can do anything to fix it. Um, 
if Twitch is causing it. Um, I guess you need to be over more. You can't be like right there, right? Because of this thing. How? Yeah, because it would be like right there. That's bad. Oh no. What are we gonna put next to this? I'm stressing myself out about this bee house thing and it really doesn't matter that much, but I'm making it into a problem in my mind. So imagine if it were like this. And we had bees like... All the way around that way. And we put one in there too, but we'll leave it out for a second. I guess we could get ourselves a couple extra so that it's like a... Walkway. I don't know. Let me see what we can make. Yeah, you get better honey if the bees are near flowers. That's why people do that, because the honey is like more valuable if it's near to flowers. Does Snap attract bees right now? <laughs> I actually think, I think she does, yeah. Um, she's actually, this is a, a rare Snap flower, um, and bees, they're, they're really into it. So. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> Maybe make like three more. I guess that's all we can do because we're out of copper bars. Oh, that's kegs. Oh my God, Kayla. Well, I need kegs too, but I thought I was making bee houses. <laughs> I wasn't. She looks exceptionally comfy today. Do you think so, Tilly? I think she's thriving. I think she's thriving right now. She's doing really well. Maybe, you know what we could do that might be an interesting way to like make this make a little bit more sense. We can move it up a bit. And that way it like lines up around this. And that seems nice. Okay, we just gotta get some more of our little thingies. Oh no, they need to go down one, don't they? Sorry. I'm sorry, chat. I'm still trying to figure out what I want this to be like, clearly. I'm just trying to organize my little <laughs> setup. Snapdragon Sunflower Hybrid. Yep. <laughs> yep, sounds about right. Roka, Gina, thank you for the subs. Um, Snap's recovery is going okay. She's not like, she's not like thriving, one may say, but she's doing a lot better the past couple of days. Um, so she's, she's definitely doing better. I can tell that there's been some improvements here. <laughs> when do I think I'll go to Ginger Island? Not quite yet. We still have a lot more that we want to do on the farm first before we start trying to spread out to another island, I think. Um, so I'm not, it's not like a high priority. Probably in like, maybe like fall. Late summer, depending on how things go. She's not on pain meds today. No, she finished her pain medication. Um, so she's not medicated right now. She's feeling okay, I think. Just sleepy, but she's an old cat, so <laughs> sleepy's not really weird for her for that. Um, oh my god, I didn't read any subs! Oh no, I'm so sorry. Oh my god, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Pseudo, <laughs> Abe, Lincoln, Florence, Roka, Gina, Wistful, Sailor, Ma, and Simon, and Michaela, and Farrell, and Sassafras, and Kim, and Tur, and Aliyah, thank you for the subs, uh, Kings, and Mackenzie, and Hyperfixation, and Agua, and Savage, and Bookworm, and Crossing, and Hopi, and Paul, and Princess, and Sammy, thank you for the subs. Oh no, Ali, <laughs> Mystic, Simmer. Isabella, Chicken, Bumble, Brooke, and, and Princess, and Melly, thank you so much everybody. We got Katie, and Andrea, Meg, Anna, Candy, Jazzy, Lunar. Lunar Eclipse is their username. Big day for you. <laughs> uh, they're, they're Lunar X Eclipse on Twitch. <laughs> Thank you for the tier 2 resub, um, and Sunshine, and Caitlin, and Tofu, and Lily, and Meow, and Claudia, and Sometime, and Not Even Mars, and Mocha, and Arden. Um, thank you for the resubs. I'm almost caught up, I swear. Joyous, Phoebes, <laughs> Knowing, D, Soul Baby, Milzy, Kate, Erica, Gabby, Atomic, Gabriella. Um, oh my god, how much did I miss? Almost done, almost done, I promise. <laughs> Peachies, Honey, Bexy, Steph, Sparkle, Lily, KP, Poppy, Carly, Captain, Milzy, Smorley, Mama, Arid, and Lavender. There we go. Thank you. Sorry, everybody. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm so sorry. 
Um, Snappy Scotch Day is actually my birthday, Gina, believe it or not. Um, she was born sometime in June, probably. We don't really know exactly when, but my family adopted her on August 14th. It wasn't on purpose. Like, it wasn't like they went out to get a cat on my birthday. It just kind of happened to be my birthday when the cat came home. But, um, yeah, we adopted her on my birthday. <laughs> so, um, we are, we are kind of sharing a birthday, me and Snap, I guess you could say. <laughs> All right, let me grab all the ancient fruit that's on these. Just a couple more. It was meant to be, yeah. <laughs> um, we were destined for each other, as some may say. Okay. You can steal all these too, probably. Oh no, no you can't because your inventory is full. Whoops, never mind. Try again. Um, she had surgery to remove a cancerous lump on her leg on Tuesday, Brie. So she's really been through it recently. <laughs> um, the poor cat has, has been going through a lot. <laughs> so um, she will hopefully be okay, but she's definitely, definitely been through it. Um, the bow on my character is so cute and so obnoxious at the same time. <laughs> Thank you, I agree. I, I also think it's cute and obnoxious at the same time. <laughs> um, I'm using up like all of our wood on this. Am I using up like a lot of our coal too to make these bee houses? Uh oh. I think it's gonna be worth it though. Right? Cause imagine how cool that's gonna be when we have like this whole thing all laid out. Maybe we could, um, actually, maybe I'll take this and I'll move one of those so that way you can more easily walk into it and we can just say that's enough for now. I guess I kind of want like one more. That would be my preference. Oh, really Clarissa, congratulations. That is so exciting. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. That's really cool. Um, did I plan out my farm layout? Actually, no. <laughs> not on, not on this save. I thought about, I like kind of started using the farm planner website and then I didn't finish using the farm planner website. <laughs> I didn't do any of this in the farm plan that I was looking at online. Um, so I, I didn't really plan out my farm, no. Um, we, but I've got a vision in my mind, I guess. So that's got to count for something, right? <laughs> I want these to be finished. I want a little bit more. Okay, well, we also need to make probably some more pathways. I have 14, let me see how these go far for us. Um, you just wing it, it's usually a mess. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> that sounds about right. Okay, we have to start thinking about the plan for how we're gonna lay out um, the rest of this, the crops and stuff, because we know that we wanna have starfruit and all of the iridium sprinklers. I think I was gonna put starfruit down a lot of this. We just have to go and see how many sets of crops we're gonna buy. I think I'll buy them all in groups of 24, and if we buy too many, then we buy too many and it's not really a problem. We'll do that tomorrow. You got the trash catalog, Tilly? Really? That's exciting. I'm, I'm really glad for you. That's cool. Um, okay. Make a few more of these. So I said I was gonna try to make one more of the bee houses and I don't have enough copper bars to make more kegs. So we have to wait on that. Oh, I got the cat trash catalog. Oh, sorry, I read it as Tilly got the trash catalog, but in fact, it was me who got the trash catalog. And that's true, I did get the trash catalog yesterday. <laughs> sorry, I'm like really distracted. I'm not reading chat very well right now. Don't judge me, okay? <laughs> Kate, Matt, thank you for the subs. Oh, I just missed the um, traveling cart, that's okay. I'll get over it. It'll be fine. What's in it? Um like actual trash it, it's like it's like uh trash like bottles on the floor and 
<laughs> stuff like that. But it's we still have the trash catalog and I really wanted it. So is it good? No. But do I like it? Yes. Very much. The raccoons have their baby now? Did I just walk past the raccoons and their baby? I swear I was looking at it. Did they actually have the baby and I didn't notice? Oh my god, we should go check. Are they gonna have another quest? To have the baby? I'm curious. We'll go find out. In the window? Oh! Oh my god, I didn't notice it in the window. Let's go see. Mario portrait yet? We don't have it yet. We're saving money for the seeds. Oh, look at the baby! Oh my god! Hungry need mushroom. Dried purple mushrooms and five cave carrots. I can do that. I can do that. I don't know if we have five purple mushrooms yet. But we have cave carrots. So I can definitely get you those. Oh, that's very exciting. Okay, I think I have exactly one more little piece of wood for that. And then this is all done being decorated. Okay. Maybe don't put that one there. I don't really like how it looks there. Actually, I changed my mind. <laughs> how do you get the raccoons? Um, they are... I don't... They, they pop up. It's a random event after... Oh, I do have enough to make five purple mushrooms. That's good. Okay. It's a random event that pops up after you have finished the greenhouse. Like, after you've unlocked the greenhouse, it has a chance of appearing. Um, and I don't really know how common it is. I know that I got it pretty early in winter, the first part of the quest. Um, but yeah, I bought the starfruit seeds. Yeah, I did buy the starfruit seeds already. So we do have the starfruit, thankfully. We're good to go there. Um, sell that, sell that. Honestly, sell the weenie sprinklers. I don't care about those. And sell that too. Okay. We're just about ready, chat. Ah, uh, Gummy Bear, we had about a 58% uh, partial eclipse here where I am, which is pretty fun. Um, but we didn't have like, you know, an amazing view <laughs> or anything like that. Um, I can't dry the mushrooms yet. I would. I can't dry them yet because I don't have uh, space in my thingy. It's not ready yet. Um, so we can't quite yet dry them. I'm actually going to make some Iridium bars overnight too because it's long. I was watching the NASA stream to see some of the footage of the total eclipse, which was kind of fun. Um, they were streaming live and it was cool to see what they were up to and what was going on. It's been really fun to see the pictures and it's cool to hear from people in chat that got to see it. That's my trash catalog, by the way. So when I say it has literal trash in it, like there's like plastic bags and bottles and stuff. <laughs> literal trash. Um, okay, to bed. Are you ready? It's summer. It's time. Okay, we made some good money that day too. We'll go to be able to go to buy to be able to go to Robin to start buying some more buildings soon as well. Yeah, there's a cute lawn chair in it, which isn't terrible. So I like that. Um, yay! <laughs> Next day of summer. Spirits are very happy today. Make sure you don't get a heat stroke, dear. Drink plenty of water and don't overwork yourself. You hear that, chat? Drink water. What is the trash catalog useful for? No nothing. It's just furniture that you can get for free. <laughs> but it's fun because it's different. It's it's new. We've never had the that catalog before. It came out in this update. Um, and people get excited about new stuff, obviously. So... You watched the NASA live stream too? Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> I liked getting to see it. Oh, you know what else we should do um, in the first couple days of summer is try and get some more lightning rods. It would not hurt for us to have some more. I have heard about the Junimo catalog. I haven't seen what's in it yet and I prefer to not see. I want to wait until um, it's officially like mine before I see it. I don't want to see any spoilers, but um, I've seen it in the the traveling cart multiple times, but I didn't have enough money then to buy it. So it was very sad. 
I'm looking forward to getting to see it. Okay, bye-bye to my strawberries. It was nice knowing you. Go away. Okay. We need to make sure that we have all of the ground hoed. You want the retro catalog? Yeah, I want all of them. I want to see all of them. I'm really excited about it. Your job had the weather channel on the screen, so you've been watching the weather channel all day? <laughs> really? That's so fun though, I love that. Of all the things, you're uh, the weather channel's number one biggest fan. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. You have the trash and Junma ones so far? I bought the, the Joja catalog for some reason. <laughs> I bought it before Joja Mart closed, so I have the Joja catalog too. The catalogs are there for furniture. You can like get a bunch of furniture for free out of it. It's like a whole collection of furniture. There's a regular catalog that you can buy and you always could buy in game too back in the day and you still can, um, but they added in this update a handful of new smaller catalogs that are like specialty themed, which is why people are so excited because they're new. Um, so people are just like all talking about it because they have not you know, gotten to play with them yet because they just came out in the update. Um, oops. That's fixed. Okay. Back in the day, it was like last week. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, there was just an update last week, so all these things are very new to people, so everybody's really excited about it. Um, Console has not updated yet, no. Um, and we don't really have word on when the console update will come out. I don't like how this looks with my little path. I'm not sure about this place yet. We'll have to see. I might want to change it, I don't know. Okay, let me grab these things quick and then we will clear up this area too. And then we should be ready to go buy our seeds. I did that in a very annoying way. Like, extremely annoying. <laughs> was it really just last week? It might have been two weeks ago at this point. I can't remember exactly. Um, yeah, oak resin is very useful. Maple syrup, not so much. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Um, have I done the hopping around with my watering can yet? No, I haven't seen it. Oh my gosh. Oh, that makes this so much easier. I need to remember that you can do that because I keep forgetting that that's an option. That's so helpful. <laughs> you can like hop around and move where the thing goes to. Okay, let's go buy our seeds. So I know that we want to buy three sets for up there. And then I'm probably going to get two... Okay, let me just mark this down. I'm gonna write it down really quickly. So we want two sets of 24 for down there. Um, I have star fruit for most of the big sections. I'm gonna do star fruit in there and in the upper areas. And then there's three sets of 48 sprinklers too. So we'll see what we can do. I'll probably put star fruit in some of these, but I'm gonna put blueberries in too, at least. I know that um, I have enough star fruit to do like all of it. I also know that you make a lot more money when you do all of it with star fruit. I like the vibes of having multiple different crops. I just think it's cooler and it looks better. So I'm going to buy a selection of crops, even though it isn't the most eff effective thing to do, <laughs> just because it's better. <laughs> it looks better, you know? Um, okay, so I'm gonna buy 48 tomatoes. I shall buy 48 melons. I think I'll just buy 24 tomatoes and 24 peppers. Um, I don't know if I care to plant more radishes. I know that we want to buy eight summer spangles. We have plenty of hops. 
I haven't grown any red cabbage yet, so I might buy some of that. I'm gonna have more seeds than I need right now, but it's nice to have them set up for the future, is kind of my thought process. So that should be good. I don't need to worry about wheat. Don't need to worry about corn. Okay. Don't forget summer squash from the raccoons. We've actually grown a lot of summer squash in our greenhouse for a while. Um, I don't have any in there right now. But we could go get some if we really wanted to, but I'm not too concerned about summer squash. I don't think. Is the tomato profitable? Um, not really. Um, <laughs> it isn't the best. It's not the worst either, um, but it's cute. So. Yeah, the horse has a chicken hat. Thank you for asking. Um, what do I want to get out of here? I think, where are my starfruit seeds? Oh, I saved them, that's why, they're over here. What's the worst parsnip maybe? I don't actually know. I'm not sure. Um, I will put my blueberries in the middle section. The blueberries are my favorite crop. I just think they're so cute. So I will do all blueberries over here. And then I will do melons in this section. 400, yeah, we have a lot. We're not gonna use all of them in this planting. Some of them are for my greenhouse. They're all to be used in the future. <laughs> okay, I got starfruit right here. Okay, I'll water those later, don't worry. Yeah, you get like a billion blueberries in each harvest. It makes it kind of fun to harvest the blueberries. I, I really enjoy them. <laughs> they are a nice, a nice crop to have growing. This is why I had to buy so much starfruit. Do you now understand? Do you see? I want to put the starfruit up there too quick. The sound the blueberries make. Yeah, when you harvest them, the sound is so fun. I also like that sound. Okay. I think that might be all the starfruit I plant, but I'm not 100% sure. I haven't really decided yet. I have... Um, the tomatoes regrow, so those are good. We'll put these peppers down here too, because they also regrow. And then I was thinking about doing, and I bought kind of a weird number of seeds for this, but that's okay. I think I'll put some of these in that little section. So we have a, a nice variety of seeds planted, plus some extras to use later. What do you use the starfruit for? Oh, so much money. <laughs> um, you get rich from starfruit, but also uh, I, I turn it into wine. So we want a lot of it so we can make as much wine as possible with it. Okay. Oh, look at Snappy how she's laying. <laughs> Mason, Petal, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Oh my God, I'm sorry I didn't read that out loud earlier. Thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs, Petal. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm, the first day of the season is so distracting. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so, 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 so much. I really appreciate that. You are extremely generous. Um, the best way to make money in Stardew? Probably by uh, aging a lot of wine once you get kind of late game. But um, not everybody likes to to do all that with the kegs, but it is... Very effective. <laughs> okay. Is the first week in Stardew just cleaning your farm and you somewhere to start? Well, you don't have to clean the whole thing all at once. Um, most people only clear up the space that they actively, urgently need straight then. Um, so you don't have to do it all at once if that's boring to you. The first week of Stardew, you need to go around and start fishing. You can start in the mines. You can start planting stuff. You can... Uh, try and clear out some of the grass so you can see if you can get some mixed seeds. Um, there's lots to do. <laughs> there is a lot to do. Yeah, actually pineapple is from the island. That's also a relatively decent um, crop for money. So. Okay. 
Oh, we should change the Y command too, because it says it's spring, doesn't it? I will have to update that. A fish! Hurry up, thank you. Um, well, we're almost done with the watering, and then we just have to get our fertilizer. I'm gonna try and put as much of the- I only have a little bit of quality fertilizer left. I don't really care to make much more, but I'll probably put um, quality fertilizer on some of the star fruit, and then we'll just do regular fertilizer on the rest of it. We don't have any mods. No, we're playing vanilla. Oh my god, I ruined that. I put it in the wrong spot. I don't have any mods installed right now. Um, QK, thank you for the resub. Thank you so much. I've never been a big mod person in Stardew. I've used some mods in the past, but I've never been like super big into mods um, for the most part, so. Okay, let me craft a whole bunch of regular fertilizer. That'll do, okay. I will put my quality fertilizer on this star fruit, and then I will go through and fertilize the rest. I guess it would probably be nice to put fertilizer down on all the star fruit first, yeah? Because that's how we make all of our money. The rest of it's just for show. You can survive without the info suite mod in this game. Yeah, a lot of people use a lot of mods in Stardew. I've just never been a big modded person. Um, so I've played vanilla for much of my life. In, even in The Sims, you know, I don't really use that many mods. I use some, but... We did a, a save playing with the expanded mod last on stream, so I have used mods in Stardew before. Um, but I wanted to play with the update vanilla. I was curious to just see it and, like, how it goes normally. Have to use mods for fishing. Yeah, a lot of people struggle with fishing a lot. You're not alone in that. A lot of people definitely struggle with fishing. Um, okay, that'll be fine for now. I think we should be good to go. I guess I could make some more fertilizer. How much sap do I have? Oh my god, thousands of sap? Okay. That's enough reason to finish making more fertilizer. <laughs> I have plenty, and we also have time, so we might as well. You can't walk that slow, you need the speed. Oh, do you use like a speed mod? That's interesting. Um, I've never really used any mods like that that are like... I'm not trying to accuse you of cheating, but like like mods that are like cheaty like that, I've not used any of those in the past, so that's kind of interesting. Um, I'm sure it's very nice. <laughs> I'm sure it's really nice to have. I just don't have a lot of experience with that, personally. Okay. Almost done. They have, like, all kinds of mods. They have uh, mods that make, like, harvesting crops faster and stuff, too. There's, like, the tractor mod and everything. So much out there. I missed a melon. What, with the fertilizer? That's okay. We've... We've fertilized enough. It is okay. Thank you. Water that. Good. What farm type is that? We're playing on the new one, the one that came out in the update at the moment. I'm just gonna turn that into a seed while I'm here. Had no clue you could fertilize after planting. Yeah, you can fertilize after planting, but only on the day that you planted it. Um, so you cannot fertilize like the next day after it started growing, but you can fertilize the day that you planted it. So um, that is possible. I think I might end up making, like, a couple more chests. I'm gonna need a little bit more storage in here, but I won't worry about that just yet. Um... Let me make myself some more iron bars. Always forget to fertilize, really? Yeah, I think a lot of people, um, forget about it. Oh, we gotta turn that in there. Okay, you take this and also make these broken glasses, okay. You're making pancakes? Oh, that's fun! I hope you enjoy them. That's a cool idea. Okay. And just a couple more things, sorry. Put those away. I only have enough oak resin to make eight more kegs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we only need six more. I guess technically I'll want to put one outside. 
I usually will put like a couple outside or, or at least one. So once they're all like in order with each other, in sync with each other, um, you're able to know what's ready, which is helpful. Yeah, I never use the wood chipper either. <laughs> I've been using the wood chipper in this save. Um, I never use a wood chipper because it turns hardwood into regular wood. And like most often, no one has an excess of hardwood. Um, oh my god. Our child. There's ads playing. We have to wait. I forgot about this. <laughs> but normally I don't have an excess of hardwood. So it's like, why would you put it into a wood chipper to make it into regular wood? But it does, you can use the driftwood that you fish up. So I've just been like saving my trash and turning it. Because why not? I have it already. Um, so, <laughs> well, basically two weeks ago exactly in game, Maru asked us if we wanted to have a child. Um, and now that child is officially here. So we've got to think about a name. <laughs> we'll have to start figuring something out. It's very sad that ads are playing because people can't even see. Morgan, Grace, Surfer, and QK, thank you for the subs. I'm going to want to buy some, like, um, maybe some more decor for the kids' room now, too. We have a cat named Squid, so it could be Octopus. <laughs> no, we should pick out, like, a, a, a real name. I think that would be nice. Um, wait for a catalog? Yeah, we'll we'll definitely wait for a catalog to get real decor, but sometimes if you see like one or two things, it wouldn't hurt to look for it. I'm seeing a lot of people say Luna, <laughs> which is kind of funny because there was a, an eclipse today. We could do it. Luna's not a terrible name for the baby. It's kind of cute. What do you think? Or solar? I mean, it is a, it, it's a solar eclipse, but solar is not as like standard of a name. Sunny? I can't name it Sunny because then I'll have, I'll name, have named one animal or one person after my cats, but not all the others. And that makes me feel guilty. So, Stella Soleil. That's a pretty name too, but I think I don't know. I think that we're overthinking this. I don't love the... No, we can't name it Nova. That's my sister's lizard's name. My sister has a bearded dragon called Nova, so that's out. We can't do that. <laughs> we can't do that. Celeste? Oh, Celeste is pretty. Maybe we could do Celeste. Wait, should we do Celeste? I think I like that. Okay, I'm committed. I'm doing Celeste. We have a child now. Look, it looks like a caterpillar up there. I'll show you. Look at it. That's my child. Celeste is sleeping. I'm gonna send Dan a screenshot of my little child. Okay, hold on. <laughs> you know what? Dan's not gonna see. You know why? Because he's streaming on his laptop because his PC is broken. <laughs> So we can't access it. The spirits are very happy today. Does it grow? Yeah, it'll eventually become a toddler and walk around. But that's as far as it'll get. Doesn't get more than a toddler. It's like broken, broken. Yeah, it's real bad. It's real bad. We've been struggling. <laughs> okay. Skull Caverns Day? We could go to the Skull Caverns today. It is good luck today. Do you want to? Because we could. Okay, I think we should. We just gotta make sure we're ready in time. You know what, actually? I feel like, should I reset? Hold on. I want to reset that, and I'm going to be quick about it, because I'm going to use a Desert Warp Totem, I think. So I won't talk to my child or to my wife. I'll do that later. <laughs> what do we got in here? Um, save most of the stuff that you don't actively need. Get a Desert Warp Totem. Get a Farm Warp Totem. Get cheese. Get bombs. 
If we wanted to, we could use magic rock candy today and like really try to commit to the day. Could be fun. Okay. Oh, I don't really need to have my hoe on me either. Okay, save your cheese, save your bombs. Keep that down there. I'll use this in a minute. All right, we're going in a minute, don't worry. I just wanna make a few more bombs while we're here. And maybe make like 10 more mega bombs. Okay, that should be enough. Ready? I don't usually bring the espresso pochi. I always forget to drink it, so I'm just not gonna worry about it. Um, I think is my plan. All right, let's go. We're up. The rock candy does a lot. It's plus two mining, plus five luck, plus one speed, plus five defense, plus five attack. So it gives us a lot. <laughs> it's extremely useful. <laughs> should I drink it right or eat it right now or should I wait until I'm a little bit further down in the mines? What do you think? The bombs, uh, they, they bomb stuff. I think I'll wait. We don't want to have it be like for the earliest part of the, it lasts for like eight and a half minutes, I think it said. And we don't really want it to be for the earliest part of the day. That's a waste of our special thing. The eel wears off in six minutes. Oh, five levels. Okay, I don't normally hit things with rocks. I usually just use bombs, but I'm still a little bit nervous about wasting a lot of my bombs. Um, but that's probably a bad idea. Come on. There we go. Okay, next. Yes. Four levels. Is this cave new? The skull caverns? No, the skull caverns have been around for a long time. Um, they've, they've been out for ages. Uh, it's just a lot of people maybe don't play until they get to the desert. So they get confused when they see this, but the skull caverns themselves are not new. They've been out. Yeah, you can make more bombs along the way. Um, trust me, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm well versed in the skull caverns. <laughs> I know a thing or two about the skull caverns. Don't worry about me. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, oh, a treasure level. <gasps> blue cowboy hat. <gasps> I'm wearing blue today. Yeehaw. Okay. No. No. Complete waste of our time to do a monster level. Oh, also wasted my time to not eat my cheese. This is another one. How many infested levels are you gonna give me? <laughs> what the heck? <sighs> oh, ridiculous, two in a row. That is unfortunate. And normally I, I would, if you're like looking for tips in the Skull Caverns, it's not really so good to waste time in the Skull Caverns. So if I were you, I would really try to like get out of there. If you get a monster level, just skip it with a bomb or with a, sorry, with a, with a ladder because um, you don't want to spend all that time trying to kill all the monsters. Because the goal of this is to get down as far as possible. So you don't really have time to be trying to kill everything. You know? Um, you want to get down lower so that you can get more stuff. Further down you get, the better your stuff gets. Okay. You watched me go through them and learn how to do it? Yeah, it takes some practice. People get really scared in the Skull Caverns um, when it's like their first few times doing it, so. Don't worry if you feel that way. Oh my God, very unlucky with the drops on this level. I've already used like three bombs. There is no lowest level LM. It's, it's, um, it just keeps going down when you come in here. So you can get down like hundreds of levels in one day <laughs> if you're having a good luck day. Um, 
And the further down you get, the more iridium and stuff you get. Oh no. Sometimes on this sort of level, there's just one open already. Or, or not. How do you get out? You just use the ladder to leave. But when you come back the next time, oh. When you come back the next time, um, it'll be reset to level one again. So. Okay. Place that down. Maybe use one down here too. Three minutes and 28 seconds. I think I'll eat my magic rock candy as soon as that wears out. Oh. This is good, I need more coal. Thank you. I'm actually gonna go over there. I'm gonna bomb this stuff because I'm trying to get more. I used all my iron up, so. Yeah, some speedrunners will do like 300 levels in a day. It's absolutely wild. I've The highest I've gotten is like 150 in a day. Um, another treasure level? <laughs> oh, this is so fun. We got two today so far. I got super meals. That's max energy and plus speed. Okay. What does the magic rock candy do? A better question is what does the magic rock candy not do? It's plus mining, plus luck, plus everything. <laughs> the magic rock candy does everything. <laughs> it's a, a really nice uh, bonus. Another hole! Yes. You got 207 earlier? Oh my gosh. I wonder, I'd have to like go back. Um, we could probably look in some of my older saves. I might have gotten close to 200 in an old save. I'm not actually sure. But I guess it tells you now what your lowest skull cavern. So if we, we could check in my older saves and find out. Because it, it shows you like on your um, panel. It's been 119 in this save. So maybe later we can load into my like perfection save and see what I did in that one. Okay, this level sucks. No, go away. Use a bomb right here, how about that? We just can't really check right now because I'm kind of preoccupied. <laughs> We're a little bit busy today. We're already on 41 and it's only noon, which is pretty good. Minute 47 left on that. Oh, you delete all your old saves so you don't know how far you've gotten? That stinks. It'd be cool to know. Yeah, I still have my old saves, so I'll be able to see them still. I know I need to eat. I'm kind of wondering if I can, like, not waste a piece of cheese, though. If I wait. Because <laughs> in, like, a minute I'm going to eat it. I probably should eat it, though. You think you were follow botted? How do I get rid of that? Oh, no, Brie. That really stinks. I know it sucks when that happens. Um, Twitch's official recommendation is to not do anything about it, and they will eventually, uh, scan for bots and remove it later on. I know that not everybody wants to, like, see all the follow bots on their own page. Um, like, it's frustrating because you were, like, maybe close to a milestone and now it's been botted, but Twitch's official recommendation is to, like, just leave it. There are third-party tools that you can use to remove the followers, but the, the risk with that that you run is that if you try and remove the followers, what if you accidentally removed real followers while you're doing it and like totally broke something? So um, you kind of have to like gauge the risk, but um, it sucks to get follow botted. So I'm sorry that happened to you. Okay, yours is 183. That's pretty good. Now I'm so curious. I want to go find out what my max was. We have to wait. Okay, 27 seconds and then we're gonna eat the magic rock candy. Oh, yes. Follow botting is when like um, a person, usually it's malicious, a stranger will uh, pay to have like thousands of bots follow your channel. Um, sometimes with like really bad usernames and stuff. Not always, um, but people usually get really upset about that because they don't want to have thousands of fake followers on their account. Um, my captions aren't on. Oh. I don't understand. Sometimes they just turn themselves- it, like, this happened the other day, where it, like, just broke for a second, and then I, like, opened the preview and closed it, and it came back. 
This is the thing, I didn't do anything differently. But the captions are not loading on my OBS. Um, let's give it a few minutes and see if it pops back on its own. Um, Cause it has done that in the past where we think it's broken and then it just returns by itself. Um, but I'll, I'll try it then and we'll see. This level sucks. Look at this. I used all those bombs, still nothing. Oh no. You're wasting my time. There's a ladder at the bottom. Oh my God, there's already a ladder open. Bottom left. Oh. Another treasure level? <laughs> ah, I got, the captions are back. See? I didn't do anything. <laughs> I got a red slime egg. Yeah, it's very weird. I don't understand what happened. I like I didn't change anything. I've been I've been playing my little game. <laughs> um Okay, whatever, OBS. That's fine. A rabbit's foot. Dan is still trying to get a rabbit's foot in his save. Oh, there's one open over there. Oops. Whoopsies. Is it possible to get multiple treasure levels in a row? I uh, I assume so. Um, I don't really know much about like what's possible spawn wise. So I'm not really sure. Go away. Oh, there's one open. Boo. Wasted bombs. Happened to you once? That's so cool. <laughs> I would have been so excited about that if that happened to me. Um, we've gotten more treasure levels today than we have total in this save. So things are going pretty well for us. Die, oh my god. Usually I would just recommend that you skip these swirly levels too, but sometimes you get lucky and you find things on them. Oh, a hole. I'm gonna kill this. There we go. How can you check that? Check the level that's your max. You can uh, check here, it says it on this page now. We're halfway to the mastery star now. That's interesting. Fun to know. Okay. Can you both please die? I'm not asking for much, okay. Eat my cheese. You have tall energy? Okay, Brew, sure. Whatever you say. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was really mean of me. I don't know what's come over me. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Another treasure level! Crystallarium, oh cool. Um, get rid of those. Okay. Um. Oh, never mind. It's open. We're already on 80. This is a really good run so far. I mean, you would hope so. We brought a lot of stuff in here. So I would hope that it's good. I got a hole! Give me my stuff. I want that jade too. Move! Eight levels? Okay. I got another hole. Maybe I'll bomb these quick because that's some good stuff. You got 500 but use lots of stairs. That's really cool. That's so fun. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna need to make myself some more regular bombs now. <laughs> I'm out. 30, okay. That's doable. How many diamonds have I gotten today? Six? Uh-oh. Um, get rid of that. Unfortunately, I may end up tossing my rabbit's foot. Oh, yikes. Oh, I can use a mega bomb on this level. 
I think there's, yeah, there's a ladder open, but this is a lot of good stuff, so I'm gonna use it anyway. Nice. Okay, down we go. Snap's doing okay. She's, um, the past couple of days have been a lot better for us. Already a whole... Just two levels, because we're on 100 again! Oh, three Iridium bars. <sighs> what do I get rid of? <laughs> That's pretty good. Pole still broken. Yeah, I wish that I knew how to fix that. I don't know what to do about that with Twitch. You got an auto petter? Oh, that's so lucky. I would kill for an auto petter. I'm jealous. You can only get them in the skull caverns on a regular save. Oh. Another hole. 108. And it's only 740. Oh, look at all the iridium on this level. <laughs> See chat, this is why we tell you to just try and get further down. Like in, in these sorts of situations, like it's it's worth it to like sometimes just keep going, keep going, keep going. <gasps> Mega bombs. Never gotten a single auto petter. I've only had it one time. I got really lucky one time and got an auto petter. Um, they're definitely quite rare. Oh, more holes. You know what's interesting is all of this today, we haven't gotten a single prismatic shard. On other days, like when we came in, the day that I got to 119 before, we got three prismatic shards in one day. We're on 127. This is going quite well. Oh, nice. You found an ancient seed yesterday? Cool, very cool. Oh my god, look at all this stuff. Oh, I need to eat my cheese. We still have three minutes left of our bonuses. We've gotten so lucky with all the holes on this one. This is like unbelievable. <laughs> it's going very well. I'm glad that we came to the Skull Caverns today. It was worth it. <laughs> this is fun. I really like it when it goes well like this. It's just a good time, you know? I don't want to waste bombs, but now I'm wasting time. Yeah, we have plus three luck because of the thingy, but still, it's going really well. Okay, I'm actually gonna steal this iron because that's more bombs that we can make. 138? 15 levels? Oh my god. <laughs> this is so fun! We're on 153! Yes! <laughs> I'm having a great time right now. I'm so excited. I'm gonna kill this thing and hope that I get a dinosaur egg. No. That's okay. Another one. Eight levels. Okay. Have we even used a staircase? I used two staircases to skip two monster levels, but that's it. Um, which is not actually that bad. Maybe 200 today. Could you imagine if we got to 200 today? That would be really cool. I don't know if we'll be able to do it, but we can see. Another hole. Come on. Four levels. When you're trying to have a really good Skull Caverns run, it's really not worth trying to do the monster levels. I keep telling chat this, but like, um, it's such a waste of your time. And time is very precious when you're doing the Skull Caverns. Okay. Recommend using explosive ammo. Yeah, that's also a huge help for a lot of people. Um, I don't normally do explosive ammo. I don't usually bring it anywhere with me. So, you got to 191, really? That's really good. That is really good. 47 seconds left of our luck bonuses. Another hole! What's it gonna be? Seven levels? 
Okay. That's another hole. You've reached a new level of understanding! Oh, that's the thingy! Yeah, we got the mastery star! Oh my gosh. So we'll be able to go use that for the first time. Eight levels. <laughs> We're at 186. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh my god, could you imagine if I died just then? By not paying attention? Sorry, chat. I was very distracted. That would have been really bad. <laughs> I don't think anybody would have ever forgiven me. <laughs> On this, like, really, really good run, too. Still, still no prismatic shards. After all of this. Okay, my luck has run out. No more of our fancy thingy. Okay. 190. We got two hours left. Still no prismatic shards. What is going on today? Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, I take it back, actually. <laughs> I, in fact, did get a prismatic shard. <laughs> uh, manifested that one, didn't I? <laughs> Sorry about that, chat. Uh, just complain. As long as you complain enough, you'll get one. That's the spirit. Oh my god, I don't think I have time for this swirly level with no extra boxes. We need places that have a lot of stuff that I can bomb. Okay, now say auto petter. Wow, chat, after all this, I still haven't gotten an auto petter. Oh my god, we're not gonna make it. Should I staircase down? So we can get to 200. Oh, here we go. Six levels! Oh my god. We got to 201. Here we go. Never mind. It it did it itself. Two That's really good. This is so fun. <laughs> Go away. Oh my god, eat your cheese, Kayla. We missed the level 200 treasure because it put us in a hole, but I don't really mind that much. It's okay. Oh, go, 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 go. Anything else? Anything else? One more bomb? Nope, never mind. 205. 205. Imagine if that was my auto petter. Yeah, could you imagine? <laughs> Oh my god, that was a really successful run. That was so good. <laughs> Danny, thank you for the 27 months. I'm actually really curious now. Um, should I close the save and go into my perfection save so we can see what my max level it was in that one? Because we can go check what our other attempts are. What all did we get? 288 Iridium. Lots of good stuff. Let's go see what our other highest are. So, in some of my other late game saves, um, those are not really, this one's the one I got perfection in. So, is she, she's burying her face in the floor. Oh, only 168 was my max in this. What about... Let me see. Um, this is one of the ones that we used to play on stream. Oh, there's ads playing. I'm really sorry, chat. That's annoying. 44? Now, if that's not one of the weakest things you've ever heard. Huh. Well, that's my best run then. 168 tomorrow. Or what did we get? 168 was the one in the other save. 
In our Joja Mart farm, I doubt that we ever got that far in the Skull Caverns. Yikes. 112, yeah. Um, it might be a bug because yours was stuck at 44 for a while after you got past 100. Oh, that might be part of it then. Nikki, you don't ever get items taken from passing out. You only get items taken when you die. When you pass out, it just takes away a thousand gold from you, Max. And when you have as much money as we do, we have 178,000. It's okay to lose a thousand gold for the sake of the extra time in the Skull Caverns. <laughs> you know? It's a, it's like a worthwhile investment. <laughs> so. Um, plum pudding, I already got that. Have I spent any time with Celeste today? No, I didn't even talk to her yesterday. And she was born yesterday. <laughs> I went to the mines and ditched her. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Anna Phoenix. So we're going Danny Lauren, thank you for the subs. Oh, okay, let's put everything away. I will probably go, is that a child? Yeah, it is. Did you just swing your sword at the baby? Yeah, I did by accident. Sorry. Oh, you know what I'll do is make some more copper while we're in here. Okay, so in my crystallariums, I have diamond, jade, and ruby. What should I put in the other one? Um, I don't know, maybe we should do a duplicate of one of these. It's like more ruby or jade, probably. I don't really use the staircases that often, so. Emeralds give you cheese. That's true, we could put emeralds. Amethyst for gifting, we have loads of it though. I might put another ruby in there, because I do use the spicy eel. And we can always swap it later on. It's not like we need it to be done completely. So I do have my purple mushrooms for the little raccoon today. So we'll have that ready. I want to put my creepy bow back on, because I like this bow. I look silly in it. And we gotta get five cave carrots too. Okay. Quartz for bomb trades. You know, putting quartz in there actually isn't a bad idea. You're lucky I found you, yeah. I sure am. Does it save when you pass out? Yeah, 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 it saves when you pass out, don't worry. Um, so it saves your progress. No problems there. Um, okay. What was I gonna get? I need to get my tools back out. I lost them. I married Maru in this save of Stardew. And we just had our first child a minute ago. Oh, here we go. Unfortunately for us, I'm out of starfruit. <laughs> I will make some tea for today and we'll put starfruit in there later on. Okay, I will come down here. I haven't talked to my animals in like two days. Um, yum cauliflower juice. I know, gross, right? Oh, I do have more starfruit. <laughs> There's starfruit right there ready. Oh man. Oh man. Okay. Very nice. You take this too. Your raccoon wants a rusty spoon, really? <laughs> that is fascinating. Um, what a choice. Okay, let me say hi to all my little friends. I haven't even, I don't think I've said hi to them all season. I'm pretty sure. So I'm sorry about that. I've been very, very busy this summer. You are not a priority for me. Okay. 
Yeah, lots of milk. This is the beauty of having the auto petter though, or sorry, the auto feeder and auto grabber. We don't have an auto petter yet. The beauty of the auto feeder is that, um, and the auto grabbers, I don't have to come in here to talk to them. It just has been taking care of it on its own. Yeah, we need cave carrots too, but I have, I have plenty of cave carrots. At least I think I have plenty of cave carrots for the raccoon. I wasn't worried about the cave carrot part because I was pretty sure I had enough. Okay. Oh my God. I'm probably gonna wanna sell some of this, huh? Cause I have like more than I'm able to manage. <laughs> They sell for, it's not like it's that urgent. I guess we can wait. When does the auto petter get unlocked? Well, that's the thing. You don't really unlock the auto petter uh, when you're playing on a regular save like this, um, would not Jojamart, you don't unlock it. You just have to get lucky and find it. So it's quite rare. Yeah, we're gonna go out to the mastery cave. That's gonna be our first order of business today is to go to the mastery cave and check what we wanna get first. Um, so I will go take a look at that because we got enough points so I can go use this. Okay, we have a lot to sell too. Also, I want to, um, I think I might get another fish pond. So I'm going to think about that a little bit more. Um... Okay, put everything away quickly. I don't really need as much cloth as I have, but I guess you never know. You might end up wanting some later on, right? I don't need that many apples. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, nice. How's that be feeling today? She's okay. She's doing all right. Um, okay, so when I go to Robin, oh, you know what the other thing I thought about doing was? I kind of considered buying either a well or a mill. Um, we don't really need a mill or a well. It's mostly just for the vibes. I was thinking about putting a mill like up there where this stuff is purely for the vibes. Maybe I'll go make Robin build one for me because I kind of like the energy of that. Um, and we only need a little bit of wood and a little bit of stone for it, so wouldn't hurt to go do. I'm also going to try to make... How many more did I say I needed of the kegs? Mill is nice to get flour and sugar. Yeah, I mean, it's nice to mill your own ingredients, but... Oh, that's exactly enough. Okay. I don't really use it that often though. Okay, we're in trouble. I need one more. <laughs> Literally just one more. Um, okay, save the stone. We should have enough of that now. Let me just grab a cave carrot really quickly because I need that last and then we should be able to go. Okay, five cave carrots. Let's go see Robin first. Yeah, I'm missing one keg spot still. We're just about there. <laughs> it's kind of annoying, but we'll get there eventually. You're in somewhere and the mosquito noises are bothering you? I don't even think about them, to be honest. I'm sorry that they're bugging you. It is kind of weird. Can you turn off the ambient sounds like that? Okay. I didn't bring the cloth. I put it away by accident. I'm very silly. I knew I needed it too, I just didn't bring it. Yeah, you can turn off the ambient sound separately from the music. So if it bugs you, you can... It turns off all the other sounds though, which is annoying, but... It was four, right? It might be five, I'll bring five just in case. I hope my cat moves. Because you're kind of where I want to put my mill. Which is very annoying. It's four. I thought it was. But it, sometimes it's good to just be safe, you know? <laughs> we must be careful. Move. 
Okay, Robin, I'm back again. <laughs> I would like to make this mill. And I'm gonna put it right there. I think that's gonna be really cute. Okay, now we're gonna go down and around to look at the Mastery Star stuff. Oh wait! Oh, I ruined- I had a quest and I never did it. That's okay. Um, we'll see. The chicken mask on the horse is taking you out. It is kind of funny, isn't it? <laughs> you want to put Amethyst on your great-grandfather's tombstone. Okay. I can do that for you, Demetrius. What does the mill do? It mills flour and sugar, so it's helpful for, like, cooking. I don't really find it that useful. To be completely honest with you, I bought it just now because it looks cute. Um, I don't really need it. For anything. <laughs> I don't really have any desire for it, so. It mills rice, too, that's true. It mills rice, too. Um, okay. Everyone, this is very important. Sorry, this is very important. It's our first time coming in here. Well, second time. First time we can actually use it for something. Oh my god. Um, what do we what do we pick? Can you do like one at a time? Which one should we get? I don't really want the mining mastery. The fishing mastery isn't that exciting to me. The farming one with the iridium scythe and the statue of the blessings seems like the best one. Iridium scythe can be used to harvest any crops. It's also excellent at gathering hay. Statue of blessings, you touch the statue and get a unique blessing every day. And you can find golden animal crackers, which permanently doubles a farm animal's produce. Oh my god, I did it. <gasps> I got my Iridium Scythe! <laughs> That's so cool! <laughs> oh my god. This is actually really fun. How does my Statue of Blessings work? Am I gonna get it in the mail? What do I expect from that? You didn't bother getting a Golden Scythe in your save? It costs 999 stone. 999 sap, 999 fiber, and 333 moss. Oh my god. I wonder if we have enough. We may have to go on a fiber mission. Yeah, the skull caverns is really helpful for leveling that up, it seems like. Um. Yeah, we'll get all of that in the green rain, pretty much. <laughs> it sounds like, so it shouldn't be too bad. Um, I am here for Snap. Hi, Kayla. Snap is excited to see you. She doesn't look like it, but she is. You had to wait until your second green rain to get enough moss. Oh, really? Yeah, I have no idea how much moss I have. We might need to wait a little bit for it. But it's summer, so the green rain could come any time. Oh, Kayla's here! She raided! <laughs> Hi, Kayla! Welcome in, everybody! We're playing a little bit of Stardew today. Um, we're hanging out. We just unlocked this cool room and used it for the first time. So we're kind of thriving. I got this fancy, like, mastery star. Um, and we're we're hanging around. It's, it's summer of year two. My cat's back there. I don't know what Kayla told you, but... Um, my my cat Snap had surgery on Tuesday to remove a cancerous lump in her leg, so that's why she's sitting back there in a cone. Because <laughs> she's got a massive incision. It's about like this big on her backside. You can't really see it from this angle, but um, if you're like alarmed, <laughs> uh, she's she's been through it this week, but she's gonna be okay. So <laughs> told him she had a little procedure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she had a little procedure. Um, she does, she'll, she might stand up and show you her bald spot, um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's, that's what she's looking like. You had enough moss, but getting the thousand fiber was a pain. Oh god, we should be on the lookout for fiber then, as we're doing this. I'm, like, gonna hang around out here and, like, grab all this while I'm here. I have no idea how much fiber we have, so we'll have to see. 
Okay. Took you two green rains to get enough fiber? Oh my god. Alright, well I have a couple things for these raccoons too. Hungry, need mushroom. Okay, I do have a dried purple mushroom for you and I do have five cave carrots. Thanks, Bobo. Take this. The raccoon shop has been expanded? And I got a raccoon hat?! Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, I really like it! <laughs> oh my god, let me check the shop really fast. So, we have- oh! You know what? Did we pay for that already? Did it cost a thousand fiber when I paid for it? Cuz... Let me look. I might have no fiber left, if so. Oh yeah, I did. Oh, I got given one, okay. That's good. I got nervous, I was like, maybe I've spent all my fiber. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll run around and grab all the rest of this real quick and just see. Did I do the trash quest for Linus? No, should I go look at the quest board? We can go see what they've got for us. Have I gotten the fiber seeds recipe yet? Oh, I don't know. Um, I don't think so, but I may have scrolled past it. I don't think I have it. We might have enough fiber already. We'll see. Just used all your fiber on grass starts. Oh no. <laughs> Frida, thank you for the resub. Thank you so much. Um, okay, well, let's go down and around. I'm gonna check the board quickly and see if there's anything good on this board for us. And then we'll see where to go from there. 80 hardwood. Looking for bug guts. Ugh. I don't know. I did open the sewer. Oh my gosh. Hold on. I picked the bug guts one. Wait. We'll get fiber while killing bugs, but look at this. We can go in the sewer. Sewers for fiber is so good. And then I can get bug guts too. So it works out all around. Oh, this is fine. Much worth it. Well, I only need like a hundred bug guts, right? And I have three. <laughs> oh no. Use the scythe, you think, you think it gives more? Does it? Oh, my inventory's full. Um, just get rid of that. Let me make sure I kill all these little bugs while we're in here. Okay. Is that room always open? Um, it's part of a quest, this room. So you do have to do the quest in order to get it. Um, it's like the dark talisman quest from the wizard. Which we have done. There is a special fish in here, yes. Does it matter where I fish for said special fish? Or is it just anywhere in the water? I don't remember. Um, I think I got all of it. Anywhere? Okay, well we might as well. Oh, I don't have any space in my inventory though. <laughs> it's rough out here. We might not be able to... Oh, I didn't bring my fishing rod. We can't fish for it. I usually catch it by Krobus, yeah. I don't even have my fishing rod on me. 
Or is it the same thing? I don't remember. Let's get out of here. Krobus, do you have anything that I want to buy from you today? It's most common in there. Okay. Good to know. You sell Dorado. I could buy a Void Egg. We could incubate that. Oh, I could get my Star Drop too. Wait. Thank you. Oh, you can't even see me eat it. Mark, take my word for it. There's different fish in the sewer versus the bug room. People are giving me a lot of mixed answers here. You found a star drop. It's strange, but the taste reminds you of pulp. <laughs> um, wizard catalog. Oh my god. I want it. We cannot buy that yet. We have 151,000. <laughs> We should not, under any circumstances, pay for that right now. Okay, I don't know where I left my horse. So that's bad. I guess I'll just walk home. Pulp mention, pulp mention. Okay, hopefully I have enough space in my place to incubate this. Don't know if I do. <laughs> right into the bridge, oh. Well, <laughs> we're home already. So sorry. Well, let's check and see how much sap and stuff we have. So I have 600 fiber, 207 moss, and plenty of sap. So we need 999 fiber and we need like 300 something moss. So we're not quite there yet. It's gonna take us a bit longer to be able to unlock that stuff. Um. Leave that creepy slime egg in there. This chest is full. I need to make a separate chest for seeds, I think. Okay, you sell that stuff. I don't have my deluxe bait on me. I'll leave my starfruit seeds just in there. Golden scythe can stay in there. My fishing rod that I foolishly left behind. Let me quick go try and incubate this then. Yeah, we'll get plenty during the green rain. I'm just sad because I want it now. <laughs> now I'm like jealous because I want to see it, you know? Um, it took till like summer 23 for you and yours? Oh no. I got green rain on like summer three last season. Um, last summer. So we, hopefully we have better luck with it this time. Well, I won't bother with the rest of that. Let's go back up and I guess I'll just go to bed. What's the moss and stuff for? We just got a recipe for this statue of blessings. Touching the statue gives a unique blessing every day. So we're trying to get that. We just don't have enough for it yet. <laughs> so we have to wait. You got green rain much earlier in your second year. Oh, that's good to know then. That's, that's a good tip. Well, it's not a tip, it's randomized, but you know, whatever. <laughs> okay, we have to get our hoe and our watering can upgraded. Maybe I will go do that tomorrow. Cause then we'll have all of our iridium tools and then I'll feel really powerful. Um, yeah, Kirsty, I just, I, I'm, I'm very well versed in Stardew Valley, <laughs> one might say. <laughs> um, yeah, we should keep checking the weather so we know when the rain's coming. I should do that now. Clear and sunny tomorrow. Never mind. Spirits are annoyed today. I have high hopes for our child. I'm reading all the scientific data on the best ways to raise children. <laughs> okay. Sure. <laughs> oh, you know what else we should do? We should pay for Robin to upgrade our house. I want to get the cellar. After she finishes doing this, I'm getting a cellar. Mark my words. Okay. I need to get some more crops that I can turn into wine. I did get the Iridium Scythe, yeah. <laughs> we just got that today. Um, what can I turn into wine? I want to save those strawberries, I think. Maybe... 
We can do some melon, because the melons are going to regrow this season. Okay. I need to make one more keg. One more. Maybe two more, so I can put one outside. I, I don't really need the second one outside yet. I need some more copper bars, but once they're all synced up, I like to have them, like, have one outside so I can tell when it's done. They're not synced up right now. Okay. Let's make two more kegs. Officially done. Eventually, we're gonna have to expand that to be bigger, but... We can wait. I guess I will dry these purple mushrooms, yeah? Okay. Um, can you go like right there? And then I wanna put the flower next to it. Okay, that's cute. Yes! If we really wanted to, we could keep the chest outside, but this will do for now. This will do. Have I used my quarry yet? Yeah, we've been to it. Um, I haven't used it in a bit, I guess. Let me put some things away inside of the house again. I need to put my bow back in this chest. <laughs> and I can put that on display. The other side's easier for walking. Oh, like up to there? No, it's okay. I think it looks cute how it is. I was thinking about trying to build, like I was saying, I kind of want to make a chest for seeds. Oh my god. <laughs> I might get a separate chest for seeds though, because I'm actually going to chop this thing real quick. Um, oh, those can't be, okay. Cool. Very cool. <laughs> I might want to extend this out a little bit more. I think I'm going to craft myself, like, unless I don't want to put them in that order. I don't know where's best to put my seed chest. Because I have them all together in this one little place, but I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I make, I have a couple regular chests. I could just put them here. I know it's like a little bit more out of the way, but just for now we could tuck them away to save me some room. And then this can still be all of our crops with room to spare. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about putting a well here, too. We're, we're kind of on the same page, because I was also picturing a well in this area. Oh, what do you want? Three fire cords. I have 29, so I can do that. One, two, three. Fire cords looks pretty nice. Okay. Good. Um... Take that. Yeah, if you missed it, I've been slowly trying to fill in all of this stuff. Um, I'm trying to like, I haven't used any of these ancient fruits that I've been getting yet because I'm trying to make sure I have enough that I can plant like a whole bunch of ancient fruit seeds at the island. But we're not even gonna unlock the island yet. So I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. <laughs> Okay, after this, I'm gonna go to uh, pay to get my hoe upgraded, I think. That'll be our next order of business. I have to give Demetri Demetrius an amethyst, too. So we have a few things to worry about. Okay. Nice. My ancient seed was ready. Yeah, it's non-stop. <laughs> I don't need to grab it just yet. We'll we'll get back in there later and grab it later. Um Okay. One, two, three. Good. Um sell that. Okay. 
Yeah, if you wait and don't harvest the, fr the fruit trees, they do get better quality. I know because everybody yells at me nonstop about it. <laughs> um, oh, wait, you know what else I want to do? I'm going to make some more lightning rods. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, one more than that. Six total. Worth it. Then I'll have a bunch of stuff. Upgrading my pan as well. We <laughs> we will upgrade the pan eventually. The pan upgrade is not super high priority for me. But we will. Let's go do our iridium hoe first. And then we'll get there. What do lightning rods help? Well, the lightning rods, they don't necessarily help things so much as they, um, when there's a thunderstorm, they will like catch lightning and then you get battery packs and you need battery packs to craft a lot of stuff in this game. Oh wait, I was meant to bring my geodes. You can upgrade the pan. Yeah, you can upgrade your trash can too. You can do a lot. <laughs> It's kind of funny. Um, and they also reduce the chance of your crops getting struck by lightning, the lightning rods, which is also helpful. But my bigger concern is um, being able to get more battery packs. <laughs> okay, I'm here to process geodes. I'm gonna start with the weenie ones, because these bore me. And then I will do the, ooh, that might be new, yeah. And there's two of them. <laughs> okay. We might hopefully, if we're lucky, get a fair bit of new stuff today. One of your special trees got hit by landing. Oh, that is sad. Yeah, I agree. The trash can upgrade is a waste of money. Oh my god, I've got three of those now? But we'll do it eventually. We might as well. I forgot the amethyst. Oh, we can go back. It's not a big deal. Please be new. I think I already have that. No, I don't. Oh, never mind. Um, let's do Mr. Gox's. Escargo. Imagine you find Escargo in a creepy little chest. That's what I thought, Christine. So why does everybody keep telling me that I have to leave the fruit on my trees? The trash can update is the only thing after you upgrade. Yeah, after you've done like everything else, then it's kind of worthwhile to upgrade your trash can. That's new. Okay. Am I gonna open how many of these? I don't know. Maybe until like a hundred. I'm willing to pay for a bunch. I still want to save some Omni Geodes, but we get so many Omni Geodes that, like, it's kind of worth to... The trash can upgrade, I'll show you in a minute. I'm pretty sure that when you do the trash can upgrade, um, it will reclaim some of the value of an item. So, like, if you trash something, it gives you, like, a little bit of money back. Um, so... This one is bigger and yields better than a copper pan. And it also has a small chance to immediately cause another panning spot to appear. Oh, cool. Well, I'm gonna do my hoe first. I wanna start with that. And the iridium trash can can give you like 60% back, right? But most of the stuff that I trash, I don't trash stuff that's worth money. I usually just end up trashing like, you know, like, fiber. <laughs> so do I need 60% of one piece of fiber back? Like, not really. So, yeah, you can upgrade the pan now in the update. It's new. Warp totem and another crystallarium. Oh my gosh, we're getting so many of those crystallariums now. Good for skull caverns? Yeah, maybe. It's not, I mean, I wouldn't say it's good for skull caverns. <laughs> It's more useful in the Skull Caverns than in other things. Yeah, it's like sap and slime that you're trashing. 
but you can make tea saplings with fiber. Oh, I know, there's plenty of reason to keep fiber roars. What I mean is like when you're in like the, the skull caverns, for example, and you're out of inventory space and you have to get rid of something, what are you gonna get rid of? The fiber, you know, like <laughs> it's not really something that most people would prioritize keeping. If you have like one piece of fiber you got from a chest, you know, um, you'd get rid of that over something else. Um, but anyway, don't go to the quarry. Oh my god, we have to come back to that. <laughs> Let me just trash my prismatic shard, you know? <laughs> okay, I am going to save a bunch of that stuff, I think. Um, I have these visions of keeping some of these items. I'm pretty sure I already have one of those fairy ones, but just in case I want to like craft with them later on. I'm gonna keep some of these because I have space in this chest for me to be able to store some of them. So I feel like I may as well, you know? Um, okay, maybe I'll leave that gate open. I don't know why I have it closed, to be honest. Um, you can make clothes with those special items sometimes. They'll all make like special outfits. I don't know what they make, but it won't hurt to keep on me, just in case. It's not like I need the space for them. Okay, my next step is I have to get an- I think it's an amethyst for Demetrius. So I will go bring him that. I'm also gonna make- where's a piece of quartz? There we go. I'm gonna put quartz in this crystallarium. Because we can trade that for bombs. And that'll be helpful. After your raccoon wanted a rusty spoon, you're keeping all the extra artifacts you find? Yeah, that's smart, Christine. That is definitely smart. We've learned our lesson with that raccoon. Okay, um, I have my- oh, I don't have it anymore. I must have put it away by accident. Amethyst... for Demetrius. Okay, let's go. Demetrius, on this fine summer Thursday, will probably be, um, normal routine. I think he'll be out by the fountain, by the community center. You get so many rusty spoons. Yeah, you do get a fair few of rusty spoons, but then it's like one of those things where as soon as you get a quest for a rusty spoon, now you can't find any more. You know? It always happens like that. I have a gift for you. Give me money. Thank you. Okay, do you want to go try and kill some juicy bugs then? <laughs> Spend the rest of our day killing bugs, I guess, for this quest. It took you two seasons to find a spoon for a raccoon. Oh my god, I got way luckier than you then. Like, the raccoon wanted cave carrots just now in my save. Fiber on the CC. Oh, I'll get it later. We're going into the mines. We're going to get a lot of fiber on these early levels of the mines, so don't worry. What level is best to uh, to reset for bug meat? What do you think? Um, 15 and 25. I know lower ones. I just don't know which one is, like, the best number. Like, should we do 5? Should we do... 15, but 15 seems to be pretty decent. This is a ridiculous quest. A hundred bug meat is an absolutely ridiculous request. I'm gonna kill the slime while we're in here too. Oh, we should have brought some monster musk. I kind of came here as an afterthought. We have monster musk now. I will have to think about it. There were so many you couldn't do it. Yeah, how many do I have? 15. I This is one of my least favorite quests in the last save that I played of Stardew. Go to the cave in the sewer for that quest. We, we did that already. <laughs> That's where we got the starting bits of it that we have. Hey, Molzy, thank you for the raid, welcome in. I'm trying to get bug meat. I'm also getting fiber while we're in here. Multiple quests at the same time. Are horses new? No, the horses have been around. Um, we got horses 
Uh, you could always buy the thingy from Robin. Not always. I think they did come in an update a long time ago, but we're talking like years ago. Um, but you buy a stable from Robin and then you can make them. More bugs. Thank you. Do I have the monster musk? I have some at home, just sitting in a chest. Um, maybe I'll go back. It might be worth it to go back, to be honest. It's getting kind of late, but it's not hard for us to go back. So we might as well. Chat, did I do the monster musk yesterday? Or was that, what day did we do that? It's like all the days are a blur. <laughs> I don't remember. Yes, okay. We got the prismatic jelly yesterday. That's right. Oh, that's right, because we got the, um, I was trying to finish making, um, we needed to max our combat skill. So I was like, this will be great. We'll do the monster musk thing at the same time. Well, this will be good. The monster musk makes it so that more monsters spawn, which is extremely useful in a situation like this where you're trying to kill a bunch of monsters. <laughs> um, so we will definitely go through and try and do some of that. It was yesterday? Okay. All the days are blurring together. <laughs> oh my god, this level sucks. We're getting a lot more fiber though, which is good. We wanted to have a thousand fiber, <laughs> so... Of course there's no monsters on this level. Boo. In game or in real life? I was talking about yesterday in real life. I was live for a little bit yesterday morning. Um, Georgia, Anna, thank you for the subs, by the way. Sybaris, Mad Hatter, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. You appreciate fiber so much more now? Well, yeah, this thing, it seems like it's gonna be um, a cool item, so I'm excited about it. Um, okay. You're having a baby with Abigail? Oh, nice! Oh, and me and Mars baby was born this morning. I got my baby today. 33 bugs, okay. If I unlock the burglar ring? I don't think so. Um, well, we're not like in that much of a rush anyway to get it. We're gathering fiber so that we can craft, look at this new, Item, statue of blessings. Touching the statue gives a unique blessing every day. We don't know what that means yet. It's in the guild, guild? Oh, so I have to buy it? I'm not doing that right now. <laughs> it helps with this kind of thing because you get bonuses from it, but we're not gonna worry about that. Oh my God, there's no bugs. It's a prize right now, a craftable one. Which prize is it from? Five hundred dust sprites? No, we haven't done that yet. We're like four hundred something dust sprites. That's what I thought. I'm like now I've I've like second guessed myself because I like misread people in chat and I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. But we've been working on the dust sprites. We're just not quite there yet. We're close, but not there. Much more to go still. I want my slime ring too. That's high on my list. You need seven more dust sprites, oh my god. <laughs> That's actually cruel. Oh, here we go. Now we're talking with the bugs. So many more. Die, die, of course none of you are dropping any bug meat. 35 only? All of that and I've only gotten two more since I last checked. Oh, this is cruel. Extremely cruel. Okay. Oh! Now that's more like it! <laughs> Look how many bugs are on this level! Thank you. You're trying to get another ruby? Oh, I know. When you're looking for like a specific item, I swear, it never shows up. It's like the one time you're looking for that specific thing. I've gotten a million of them in different days, but today I can't get any. 
absolutely terrible. I'm gonna reset. Think of the XP. Yeah, we're getting, I mean, we have like 3,300 more since we last got the thingy, so that's not that bad. It seems like we'll level this up pretty quickly. Should I go bother with that one? Probably. Okay. Fiber? How much more do I have now? 57? Mm. Okay. How about you? Just a couple more little bugs. There we go, more like it. How are we doing? 55 out of 100? Okay. It's 1140. I kind of wasted my monster musk by coming here late with it, but it could have been worse. Don't go down only 15 and 25 through elevator. No, I'm okay with my process. <laughs> I know I'm not being the fastest, but this is okay. <laughs> We're getting some good bug meat on these levels by going down, so I'm okay with it. Um, it's fine. 61. I'm just gonna get the rest of these and then we'll go back home. Oh, maybe I'll do that level too. I will not do this level. <laughs> I will just go back home. <laughs> okay. And we're back. Tacky, Georgia, Anna, thank you for the subs. <laughs> I really appreciate it, Tacky. Thank you so much. 39 months. Okay. Bedtime. And then we'll go back tomorrow. I can make another set of Monster Musk tomorrow. We got in total 63 that day, which is pretty good. We can manage that. Should you play Stardew or Sims right now? Oh, you should farm. You should absolutely farm. It's just fun. How could you pass it up? I missed Jas's birthday yesterday. <laughs> Oopsies. <laughs> the spirits are neutral today. Will Celeste grow to be a farmer or an engineer? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do today, to be honest, I think I wanna go check the traveling cart because I have this deep desire to know if, um, oh, my thingy's done. Look at how nice that looks, by the way, with the mill up there. What an improvement. Okay, maybe, you know what? This is a bad idea. I'm gonna start leaving them without replacing them just for a bit, because I wanna see if we can get them all on the same um, like schedule. I'm kind of annoying myself with them being all separate. So I might hold off and get them on the same schedule. Don't hate me for that. Leaving it blank on purpose. <laughs> um, okay, how much do I need to upgrade my house? So for the next house upgrade to get the seller, it's just 100,000 gold. Okay, we do that today. It's time. Um, sell that. I'm actually gonna keep this rhubarb wine then. Cause we're gonna get the cellar upgrade. Okay, I'm gonna go down now and I'm gonna go and see about trying to check the traveling cart. Just, oh, hello. I wanna check the traveling cart. I'll get those later to see if um, they have the Junimo thingy. Cause if they have the Junimo catalog, I'll buy that instead. <laughs> I'm unfortunately being completely honest with you when I say that. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, I'm not buying any Mario portrait. Yeah, my horse has a chicken face on. No, no, I already used those mushrooms, Watcher. I already, I already gave them to the thingy. So that was a second set of them. Don't worry. I didn't just waste mushrooms that I needed. <laughs> we already gave them to the raccoon, so we're good. That's how I have the raccoon hat now. <laughs> you bought the Shane portrait and hung it in your kitchen. Oh my god. That's kind of fun. Oh, did she wake up? 
Oh, she's sitting up. Okay, I make one more set of monster musk quick. Monster musk, where are you? There we go. Way worth it, and then I go up. I've got Robin here like nonstop at my house. <laughs> I feel bad, she's always trying to help me out. Oh, I don't have my hoe, I can't get those. All right. The Sebastian portrait is so emo, it was giving vampire energy, really? That's kind of fun. I kind of like it. Okay. Construct farm, no, sorry. Make house renovations. No, upgrade house, sorry. <laughs> I can add a cellar to your house. The cellar can be used to age certain products like wine and cheese. It will cost 100,000 gold. I am interested. Thank you. Oh, now she's loafing. Very cute. The cat statue from the desert just is there, Sage. It's just decor. It doesn't actually do anything. It just looks cute. It just looks cute. Let me check really fast. I'm gonna see how we're doing on... Oh, they're not gonna be open yet, are they? I'm silly for trying to come over here. I forgot it's only 9 a.m. Never mind. I was gonna see how we're doing on that, but we can't. Okay. You eat yourself some monster musk, Kayla. Again. And we'll go down. Bug meat. This is a sad level. It's okay. What does Sebastian do in the second year Halloween festival? I haven't seen Halloween year two yet. I'm kind of excited about that. 15. I've been told that the maze gets harder in year two, which is kind of exciting to me. <laughs> yeah, Snappy's off her pain meds. She's not on any medication right now. Um, she's, I think, doing a lot better. Um, the first couple- Oh my god! I just got a prismatic shard from killing a slime in the regular mines! <laughs> That's so rare! <laughs> what? Well, thank you very much, game. I greatly appreciate that, actually. <laughs> what? I was gonna say that, um, Snap, she, uh, the first couple days were really bad. But she's definitely doing a lot better today. That's like 0.05% chance. And get this, we had our best Skull Caverns run ever earlier today. Got to level 200, I got one Prismatic Shard, which is a lot, but I have runs sometimes where I get like multiple. So I got three in a different run of the Skull Caverns in one day recently. Um, so it's just kind of funny. I just killed that with my pickaxe by accident. <laughs> we have like five Prismatic Shards sitting around. When we get to the island, we're gonna be thriving. Cause I'll be able to use all of those in there. Yeah, we were on like level 205, Cladskin. We did really well. That, I think, was my best Skull Caverns run ever. I was pretty excited about that. <laughs> that was really fun. We can save them now, though, because we'll be able to use them to enchant our tools in the desert, or in the island, sorry. Which will be really fun. You know what? This quest is worthwhile because we're killing a bunch of slimes as well, so we'll be working on our slime ring at the same time. 107 is good though, 8 wait, 107 is good. Um, a lot of people like never get to 100, so don't drag yourself down. And it takes, there's some luck involved, you know, um, with the Skull Caverns. So we had a really good run. I did, I got my trash catalog, yeah. <laughs> I did get my trash catalog, I was very excited about it. Best day of my life yesterday when I got it. Hello bugs. Oh, this level has a lot of bugs. I feel like we consistently get really lucky on level 16 when I get stairs down. How is that? 87? We're almost done. We'll be able to, because we'll have some time left today with the monster musk probably. After we get all of our bug meat, we'll be able to go try and kill some more dust sprites. Which will be fun. Okay. 
still haven't gotten the trash catalog yet. Yeah, I mean, it's a it's a luck thing, right? We got really lucky with that, though. I was very excited. There's one up there. Two up there. I got this quest from the little- oh, I just went down without thinking. That's okay. I got this quest from, like, the little bulletin board down by Mayor Lewis's house. Um, and it's for Linus. No, it's for Willie. Sorry. 100 bug meat. We're gonna get some bait this way. How's that? 90 out of 100? Okay. No more there. I've gotten a fair bit of fiber from this too, which is also good. Fishing makes you want to cry. I know, a lot of people hate fishing. If it makes you feel any better, you're not alone in that. Um, it takes some practicing. You can't stop spinning the slot machine in the desert! We haven't been in there yet. That's funny. Okay. Level 5? Hi, slime. Hi, bug. Hi, bug. How many is that now? 95? We're almost there. Just a few more. Oh my god, I can't kill this one. That's 96. Small magnet ring, 97, 98. This wasn't that bad. The monster musk, I think, helped us a lot with this. It did take us two days, but... It's not that bad. Think fishing is harder on console because you're better on your laptop? No, that makes sense. I can see how the buttons might be harder for some people. Farming for slime ring? Uh, partially. We're trying to do the bug meat quest for Willy. But while we're in here, I'm killing slimes because I feel like there's no harm in doing the same thing, you know? I may as well do both at once. <laughs> you caught 15 eels and now you sleep. Okay, good night, Tilly. I did it! I got all 100 bug meat. I won't go bring it to him today. I think what I'll do now, to be honest, I'll get a little bit more of this fiber, and then I'm gonna go reset the iron levels of the mines for a little bit, because I wanna try and kill some more of the dust sprites. Um, so we might as well try and do a little bit of that while we're here. Die. Die. Okay. Oh my god, I've gotten so many frozen tears. It's ridiculous. Um, I currently have a magnet ring and a glow ring on. At the minute. There we go. Now we're talking. Got a few more things in here. As in one dust spray. <laughs> That's okay. The glow ring is so helpful. I cannot live without a glow ring. I need it. It's so useful. The universe said befriend Sebastian. I actually haven't given him like any gifts. So I really need to work on that. Better luck on this level? No. I might go down though. See what we can get down below. It's worth it. Level 40 was better for you yesterday? Oh really? I can do- we can- we can mine on 40 a little bit. I'll get the stuff on this level. Might as well. You got a glow ring then your game crashed and you lost it? Oh I'd cry. That sucks. <laughs> How could it do that to you? Ooh. Get rid of the mixed seeds. Um, we'll get rid of a little bit of sap too. Oh, there we go. That's the spirit. If you all missed it, you're just tuning in. We got a, um, I got a prismatic shard in these mines today <laughs> from killing a little tiny slime. <laughs> Just a regular old slime. We've been very lucky. Am I able to craft a glowstone ring? Oh, I don't know. I haven't really done any crafting. We can make an iridium band, which glows a 
attracts items and increases attack damage. So we should probably try and make this because we have, um, well, we don't, maybe we don't have enough solar essence. I probably spent a lot of my solar essence. I might need to try and get some more, but we can make an Iridium Band soon and that'll be good. Oh, I got the Bat Monster Slayer goal done. So that's something. Let me kill that slime too. What levels do you get Iridium? You have to get Iridium in the Skull Caverns. You can't really get Iridium in these regular mines, unfortunately. Um, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I know nobody wants to hear that. <laughs> but you cannot really get Iridium in these regular mines. Um... No. 40 is a good one to reset for this because they're so small. The skull caverns are in the desert, so you gotta get the desert unlocked by repairing the bus. And then you can do it. Well, this is actually not a good one to reset because there's no monsters on it. Sometimes, sometimes you might get lucky and get it from like opening a geode or um, like from a quarry rock and stuff. It is possible but not common. Does that make sense? Um, so really, if you want like a significant amount of Iridium, you're gonna have to go to the Skull Caverns. And a lot of people get scared in the Skull Caverns because they're kind of difficult, but it's not that bad and you'll be able to manage, I promise. You can handle it. With some practice, you'll be able to do it. Haven't left the village yet, yeah. Um, it takes a while to get that bus unlocked too when it's your first playthrough, so. That makes sense. If Kayla can do Skull Caverns, so can you. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at me. I'm ridiculous. Um, if I'm not scared, and I'm scared of everything, then you'll, you got this. Okay. Do you think I should go? How long do we have? Like a minute 28? Okay. I might keep going until my monster musk runs out and then I'll go check on the adventurer's guild to see how many more we have to kill. Cause I'm kind of curious. In the volcano mine you just drink a coffee and run. <laughs> I think you're valid for that though. I think a lot of people do. Okay. 40 again. Thought they closed at 10. They close at midnight now. So they, they're open a little bit later. That's recent in this update. Oh, look at how many dust sprites are down there. That's the spirit. Oh, I got it. Oh my gosh. That's actually so good. We have to be quick now. Hold on, grab the rest of this iron. <sighs> Leave the mine. Run, 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 run. Do I have inventory space? No, oh my God. <gasps> quick, quick, quick. Leave a couple things that you don't need like cave carrot and <laughs> I don't know, a crab. <laughs> They close at 2 a.m., not midnight. Oh, is it 2 a.m. now? Why do I feel like I thought they made it until midnight? But maybe it is 2 a.m. now. They close at 2 a.m., oh, we're fine. We don't have to worry then. Let me look at this. So we've killed 799 out of 1,000 slimes, 117 void spirits. We got the bat skeletons, cave insects, duggies, and dust sprites now. 51 out of 60 rock crabs, only 29 mummies, 13 pepper rex, 115 serpents. Okay, I got a burglar ring. I got a vampire ring. And unfortunately, I also have a hard hat. <laughs> Yay, that's so cool. Um, oh, I could buy my leprechaun shoes back. I forgot about that. Oh, I never gave, wait, no, I did give it to, Dem to Demetrius, right? I should actually do that, to be honest. This is fun. Wall sword, decorative sword. You lost your shoes. 
sell the magnet ring to Marlin. Oh, we could do that if we wanted to. I could sell him the small magnet ring. Okay. I died in the mines a while ago. It wasn't recent, don't worry, Christine. And it was really embarrassing, so I'm not trying to talk about it. Um, bus stop. Duck Dan with the raid. Oh no, has it been rough, Dan? Did was this was it rough the stream for you? Or did it go okay? Well, get this, Dan. I was just mining. I was trying to get the um I was doing a task look to get the juicy bugs, so I was killing bugs for bug meat. I got a prismatic shard in the regular mines from killing a slime. Now I have five extra prismatic shards. I'm thriving right now. <laughs> you think your game was running at about 10 FPS the entire time, but the sound worked. Oh, good. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Hopefully you have a you have better luck uh, maybe with your PC tomorrow. I don't know. Um, oh my god, did I get raided earlier? Was I so distracted that I didn't even notice that I got raided earlier? <gasps> oh, that's the most embarrassing thing I've ever done. I'm not even in hard minds. I'm in like the baby minds. I'm that's so embarrassing. Literally, how did I do that? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Two dance in a row! Well, both dance, thank you for the raid. I'm so sorry. That's so cringe of me. I'm I'm really embarrassed by that. I wasn't ignoring you. I didn't notice until Hope just said it. That's so embarrassing. I'm so sorry. Stardew Valley gets me so bad. I like tunnel vision on my game. I get really zoned in and I haven't got a clue what's going on. It's really embarrassing. I'm so sorry. Thank you for raiding me. Welcome in. Oh! I have a baby goat from Moat. What should we call it? <laughs> um, and Dan, thank you for the tier three. 73 months, by the way. Um, boat? Coat? I'll call it boat. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm actually really embarrassed now. This is really bad. That's one of my like worst moments on stream, I think, just then. That was like seven minutes ago. <laughs> I'm so bad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, my iridium hoe is ready. That's good. Fortune teller. It's okay. I forgive you. I'm glad. Thank you. I haven't spent time with the kid yet. No. Let's go talk to it. It's asleep. Okay. Robin is currently working on our house to upgrade it. So we're getting somewhere there. Um, and then... My leprechaun shoes... Fisherman wanted. You want a Dimitri? You want a <laughs> puffer fish for Demetrius? I can do that. Aquatic research. Well, we have to go bring the bug meat to Willie's house, so I can go get that first, probably. Um. Oh no. I want to see if I can get exactly a hundred on my chest. Um. Yeah, we named the baby Celeste. It's kind of cute, right? Hopefully you like it. Oh, I don't like this hard hat. You look silly, Kayla. What hat did I have on before and where did I put it? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, the raccoon hat, that's right. I put that away, didn't I? I put it in the dresser, oh my God. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I am not going to put anything else in these yet, cause I'm gonna wait. I think it should just be a couple more days. I want the rest of them to be done too. I want them all to be like uh, even lined up. So I'm gonna wait a little bit longer to put anything in those. I'm kind of losing a little bit of money by not like immediately refilling it, but I think it's worth it. I got my first lava eel row. So that's cool. Okay. Well, we'll be able to put some ancient fruit in there too when the time comes, which will be good. 
Yeah, it makes me so mad when they're out of sync. Like, it's so annoying. I'm gonna try and get these uh, ancient fruits in sync at some point too, but not yet. Right now we need money. Oh, I can use my scythe now, I forgot. Oh, that's so helpful. I'm sorry, this is my first time having the Iridium Scythe, so I'm not used to it. <laughs> it's new to me. <laughs> it is new and very exciting. It makes it so quick with the harvesting, huh? Okay, I'll talk to everybody. Well, Jenna, Harpy, Gabriel, thank you for the subs earlier too. Thank you so much. Does the greenhouse look different? No, I don't think so. Um. Okay. How do you find Iridium Ore in the Skull Caverns? You gotta get kind of far down for it to start showing up. Um, it's kind of a process. We did a really good Skull Caverns run earlier today in the stream. We got to like level 205 or something ridiculous. Um, so we got pretty lucky in there earlier. Um, if you want to like watch the VOD back later, it might help you. Basically, you're gonna need to bring a lot of bombs and a lot of extremely high quality food to the Skull Caverns and commit to getting down as fast as you can. Because <laughs> when you're farther down, that's where the Iridium starts showing up and it doesn't save your progress each day. Um, so you have to, like next time you come back, you'll be back on level zero again. So it kind of takes some work. Okay, in here, in my little preserves jars, I'm gonna put these peaches so we can start getting a little bit more money. Um, I will also recycle that. I don't really have any reason to be recycling this much at this point in the game, but whatever. <laughs> we might as well, you know? Okay, I'm saving all of my wine in case I want to, specifically the starfruit wine. I might, I might um, get rid of some of this strawberry wine though. Mostly it's just the starfruit wine that I need to save. Okay, so goal for today. Oh, my bug meat went back. Oh, I'm silly. Recycling is good for the environment, exactly. <laughs> Recycling, actually though, pro tip chat, is very helpful early game. Because um, you can get like refined quartz and stuff from finding those broken glasses. And fishing them up. Um, some sashimi, apricot, albacore. Do I have an albacore? That one's like kind of blue. Yeah, I can do that. We'll do a couple of these today. And I'm gonna get my hoe from the blacksmith too. I don't think that I have enough iridium bars made. No, I don't. So I can't upgrade my um, next thing yet, but that's okay. We'll get our watering can after this. Is that not meant to be your primary source of quartz and cloth? <laughs> No, believe it or not, there are better ways to get quartz and cloth. It just doesn't feel like it sometimes. <laughs> Recycling's important in real life too. But more important than starting. <laughs> Amy, thanks for the 18 months. <laughs> okay, let's go down and give this to Willy first. Um, and then maybe I'll fish. Because to catch a puffer fish, it's noon to 4 p.m., right? Yes. I'll try and catch one for Demetrius too. Um, I can do that easily. Oh, Haley's cutscene. I'll watch this. Your local library is recycling eclipse glasses from today. That's good to check into. If you bought eclipse glasses that you don't need anymore, it's good and worth checking in with like your library or some of the local places to see if they're recycling them. Um, you're going to Ginger Island for the first time ever next time you play. Oh, that's going to be so fun for you, Hope. Um, my bracelet is gone. I know I had it on when I got here, but now it's gone and I can't find it anywhere. But I need to keep my glasses forever in my hoarding drawer. <laughs> it's okay. We'll find you. We'll find it for you. Maybe it'll wash up on another shore. I can't bear to think of it at the bottom of the ocean. We're not going to Ginger Island yet. When we, when I go talk to Willie in a second, I'll show you, but... Oh, sorry, great grandma. I lost your precious bracelet. Please forgive me. <laughs> Could she have dropped it nearby? We'll see. We'll see. Um, 
Let me put this in here really fast. I got 3,000 gold from that. I was gonna show you all in here. Um, this is the boat that people are talking about. I'm not ready yet. We don't have any of the stuff that we need either. I don't have any um, battery packs, but we'll get it soon. A sad sight. Yeah, it is. We did unlock mastery yesterday in real life, so I got my first mastery star today. Now she can barely stay afloat. I'm gonna skip you, I'm sorry. Basically, there's an old boat. We have to try and repair it. You need a few things for it. Um, you need five battery packs, five iridium bars, and 200 pieces of hardwood. Um, so that's how it works. Oh, pro tip also, if you haven't done this yet, you can change your bobber in here. So you can get a custom bobber if you want a different one. <laughs> I have a cat, but you like unlock them as you're catching more fish. Um, and then you'll be able to do it. It's kind of cool. There's more than one mastery bar. Yeah, you can get mastery in like all the skills. It's really cool. I got the farming mastery first in this save and we're only like 5,000 XP. So we can't get the next one yet. Yeah, my cat has a neck pillow on. She um she had surgery. I can show you a, a full cam. She had surgery on Tuesday because she had a cancerous lump on her leg, kind of like on her back hip. You can't really tell, but you see like by the freezer bunny, there's like a, a chunk of her fur. It looks like it's missing. She has a huge bald patch. It's like the whole side of her body, basically. You just can't really tell from this angle, um, but she has a, a massive incision. It's like this big, which on the size of a tiny cat is a lot um, and, and stitches. So she has to wear a cone so that she doesn't uh, pull the stitches out. So she's still got like a week to go until she can, she can take her cone off. It's been a week almost now. She's been going through it, poor cat. <laughs> um, she's almost done though, sort of. A little bit less than halfway. <laughs> I keep trying to tell her, I'm like, you're almost there, don't worry, Steffi. But I don't think she hates the, um, the cone that much. I don't think she likes it, but I don't think she hates it. And it is, I mean, like, she's using it to rest her head like a little pillow, so. You know. No, she's finished her pain meds now, Christine, so she's not on any meds anymore. Um, which is actually a good thing. She's doing a little bit better. I'm gonna get my ticket. I'm gonna come back for that. Um, she's had a way better last couple of days, like night and day. The first two days were horrible. And you gotta like, imagine she's in pain and then she's all confused because she feels like weird and loopy. Like it just must have been so scary for the poor cat. I can't even imagine. Um, but thankfully she's she's doing a little bit better. Um, so that's good. <laughs> Palmer, yep, Amy, thank you for the subs. Let's come in here, I'm gonna get my ticket. I got one of those fancy teas again. Ooh, that'll be a cool house plant. I'm looking forward to the extra iridium sprinkler as well. Um, yeah, Focus, they do make, um, they have like those little plastic cones for cats and stuff too. Um, they make them for all animals. Uh, so you, you, you're familiar with that kind of thing. I can show you a picture of what you're picturing. Um, we have one of these for Snap too. They gave us one when she had her surgery. It looks like this. Um, but they also make soft cones like this thing. Um, sometimes like a donut, hers is like a flower. Um, <laughs> and it's nice because it doesn't, like it's, it's more comfortable for them. The issue is that some cats can get to like the spot still with these soft cones. So it depends on their, in on their injury. Um, Snap is fine with the soft cone. Weirdly, she hated it on the first day. Absolutely despised it. So she had to wear this cone on the first day. Big yawn. Um, and now, <laughs> and now she realized, actually, you were right, Kayla, the soft cone's better. So now she's been a soft cone girly for about a week. Um, but yeah, it's not pleasant. She hated this. Um, but I mean, it's for their own good. She would hate it more if her stitches came out and she had to get them redone. She just doesn't understand that. <laughs> She doesn't know that part yet, <laughs> but she would think it's worse if she had stitches issues, so. I brought it, you're welcome Gus, finally. I don't have that apricot yet. I don't have sashimi yet either. Can I buy some recipes from you? Triple shot espresso recipe. Hmm, I'll buy that. I might as well. 
Yeah, she like experienced the alternative and she was like, hmm, actually maybe you were right about soft cone. <laughs> maybe you were right all along. Caroline, Holly, thank you for the subs. Your cat escaped her soft cone immediately. Yeah, well, we had that problem when my other cat, Sunny, got spayed earlier this year. That's why I bought the soft cone initially is because of Sunny's spay surgery. Um, when Sunny got spayed earlier this year, I need to find Demetrius. She would not wear the soft cone. She had a better luck with like a surgery suit, basically. Um, so that was good, I guess. Um, he's gonna be by the community center. I ran right past him. Um, but, <laughs> um, but she had like a little suit to like cover her tummy so she couldn't get to it. And that was better for Sunny, but she hated the soft cone. Absolutely despised that thing being on her head. Um, so all the cats have different preferences. It's kind of interesting. Your cat hated the surgery suit? Yeah, and see, Sunny wasn't bothered by it that much. Snap hated the surgery suit. We tried it on Snap too, that didn't work. She did not like that. So. Yeah, Sunny, when I put the soft cone on her, she kept putting her arms in it to try and take it off of her face, and then her paws would get stuck in the cone. Um, so... She was very, uh, I don't know, sneaky, I guess. Shrimp didn't have to wear cone, a cone for his. He didn't ever touch his, but he, um, when they do neuters, they can do it. And I'm sorry to tell you this. It's very, like, comparatively minimally invasive. Um, they did it with a laser. So he, like, barely, he had a little tiny shave spot, not that much. You know, he had like a very much quicker recovery. Like it's, it takes him like two minutes to do the surgery. Like it's snip snip real easy on boy cats. <laughs> the girl cats have it much worse with, with their space surgery. So <laughs> yeah, Cal, I have multiple cats. I This cat I got when I was nine. So I've grown up with her, but I, we recently adopted two more cats that we found in a sewer. And I'm not kidding about that. So. <laughs> Um, we have, a uh, a few cats nowadays, <laughs> but we, we found back in, like, July, um, a mom and three kittens in a sewer by my parents' house, and we took them all in, fostered them, and then me and Dan adopted two of the kittens, and my parents adopted the mom and the other kitten, so. We have a large number of kittens recently, um, in this family, <laughs> but we found them in a sewer, so. <laughs> Uh, there that's a recent addition basically <laughs> Your boy cat took it way worse than your girl cat really that's so interesting Yeah, um, they were both honestly the kittens after their spay and neuters they were back at it so quickly like they were not They were very minimally affected by it. I think um, and the vet was basically she was like look they need to be kept kind of calm for like two weeks but it's a kitten, so I, there's only so much you can do. <laughs> like, their kittens are gonna be kittens. Um, so, you know, I did what we could, but... <laughs> they were, they were kind of chaotic. I had to keep them trapped in my office. Like, Snap currently is locked in my office. The kittens were locked in my office back then, too. After their surgery, so that they, you know, could be supervised. Snap's a little bit easier to keep locked in here because she doesn't really have much desire to leave most of the time. She's also easier to keep still because she's old, <laughs> so. Um, the mom of the cats is named Frankie, um, and the other kitten is Sam, Sewer Sam, and my kittens are Sunny and Shrimp. So, <laughs> they're all doing really well. Sam um, has become very good friends with my parents' other cat, Lemon, which is kind of cute. It's fun that they like each other so much. It makes me happy. <laughs> I'm really glad. Oh, Finch, that is a lot. Oh my god, I didn't even think about that. Yeesh. Um. Oh my god. Can I show you something so funny? Wait, 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 wait. I got... Earlier? I got, um, I'm sorry to my sister for this. Maybe I should show you a zoomed out version instead. Earlier today, 
I'm, I was looking at my phone. You know how your phone makes like featured photos, like albums of featured photos? This is a highlight reel of when my family's cat died. That's him. And that's my sister crying in a selfie with him. And all the photos, it's a highlight reel of when Pokey died. My phone made a highlight reel of all these pictures of Pokey's last day. <laughs> it says mother's home because it's like at my parents' house. So it knows it's her address, but <laughs> it made a literal highlight reel of all of the pictures of him. Isn't that so evil? That's like, un I can't believe that. I got, my phone has done two unhinged highlight reels recently. I got one on Valentine's Day. Um, that was like last Valentine's Day because my car broke down not this year But last year on Valentine's Day and I got stuck at the post office. It was a whole thing. I had to get towed Oh my god. Anyway, but I got a highlight reel my phone was like celebrating Valentine's Day And it was like all the pictures of my car getting towed <laughs> And now this My family's dead cat. Are you serious? <laughs> Why are you giving me all these chaotic highlight reels? Yeah, it has music. So when you play it, it like shows you a slideshow to music of all the photos. <laughs> and there was photos of Pokey when he was, oh my God. Anyway, absolutely horrible. Thank you to my phone for that one. It did actually make me laugh. I wasn't like upset about it. It was kind of funny, but I was like, I can't believe. <laughs> yes, and it's upbeat music. It's upbeat music. Let me see if I can play it. Hopefully it's still there. Oh, now it says Pet Friends 2021. Well. Look. Mother's home. And it's like pictures. Are you serious? That's him eating his last food. This is the day he died. <laughs> That's my sister crying. <laughs> Isn't that just unbelievable? <laughs> oh, I mean, it doesn't know. It doesn't know, but it's so like. <laughs> anyway, it's funny. I'm. I like it. It made me laugh, but I actually couldn't believe it. <laughs> Do you get that on Google Photos, really? Yeah. It's just funny that it's like highlighting that day in particular. Cause it's not just like pets, it's like September 18th, <laughs> which is not exactly a good day. <laughs> You're not convinced Apple doesn't know? It might know. Those highlight reels know too much. Like, it knows, sometimes I get highlight reels that pop up from concerts, and it's like, Taylor Swift, and it knows what the concert was. And that's kind of interesting. I mean, it's like, it has location data, and it like knows the date and time, so it's not impossible for it to figure out, but... Um... Yeah. It's... Interesting. Can it tell the Void Cats apart? Oh, there's no way it can tell the Void Cats apart. I don't think so. Oh, the AI Discord notifications? Oh my god. Those, that's too much. When you get those pop-ups, have you had that yet? Where it's like, hey, you know, uh, join Simsy's World chatting about this. And it gives you like a descriptor of what people are talking about in the Discord server. And sometimes it's like completely unhinged. <laughs> my mod sometimes will come in and share a screenshot of like what the thing says for the highlight and it's always something like absolutely ridiculous because you know people talk about ridiculous things but yeah it's kind of it's kind of weird <laughs> getting other servers yeah I don't I've actually never gotten one but my mods get them and, and they show me the screenshots of them um so I don't really know how it works but Okay, you save that shell. Oh no, shells go in this one. Yeah, yeah, it's like, <laughs> join Simsy's world, chatting about medical anxiety <laughs> or like something ridiculous like that. Oh my God, horrible. 
You got a really bad one yesterday called Simsy talking about Snappy's accident. <gasps> it gave you a pop-up about that. It like gave you a notification describing it that way. Oh my God. <laughs> what a thing to say. First of all, she didn't have an accident. She had a planned surgery. Thank you very much, Discord. <laughs> you were upset, so I didn't say anything. <laughs> no, because yesterday I was telling chat about how, look, I didn't tell anybody this when it happened, but on Tuesday, so no, it was Wednesday, it was Wednesday. Snappy, um, the first couple days she was in a lot of pain. I had to get her extra pain medication from the vet because I think she was in so much pain. On Wednesday, she bit me in the face, which she has un like unprompted. She was just sitting in my lap, like in my arms, unprompted attacked me because she must've been in so much pain that she like woke up and like was distraught. Um, <laughs> it didn't hurt, she didn't bite hard, but she like unprompted, I lied, I said Snappy's bite. Oh my God. <laughs> so I gave you a notification on Discord talking about Snappy's bite. Oh my God. That's actually wild. <laughs> I figured you wouldn't want to say. I assumed it was that time. Well, I was telling the mods about it last night. So because she had uh, meds to be given every 12 hours. So I had given it to her at like seven in the morning and she wasn't due to have it again until like seven at night. Well, around three or four, the meds started wearing off and I could tell she was getting very agitated and like in a lot of pain, but I didn't want to give it to her early because then it would wear off again at like 3 a.m. So I didn't like, I didn't know what to do when the vet was closed. So I was like, I don't know. I was very stressed. So I had to call them in the morning and ask them like, I was like, Hey, I think she's in a lot of pain. We need, she needs more medication. <laughs> um, because this is like, we need to like alternate it or something. So they gave me some gabapentin to alternate with the other meds. Um, and then she was fine for the next few days. And now she's like not on any meds and she's okay. But the first couple days were really hard. Um, it was very, very hard on her. She must've been like really hurting. I mean, you can tell based on that, but, um, yeah, that was a rough one. <laughs> that was uh, very, it was very emotionally taxing for me the first couple of days. <laughs> um, it's just really hard to watch your pets go through stuff like that. And like, I mean, you can't explain to her why she's feeling like that. And I don't understand, uh, you know, she doesn't understand why it's happening and stuff. Yeah, no, Brew, I know why you didn't say that. I'm, <laughs> I understand why you did not tell us what it said. <laughs> And you know what, Brew? I appreciate you not telling chat either. <laughs> it's like, does Kayla want chat to know that Snappy bit her randomly? <laughs> no, it's okay. Um, she, she had an excuse. She was really going through it, but it was very hard. The, the first couple of days after surgery were really hard. Um, so anyway. Yeah, she took the gabapentin. It's not easy to give her the meds, but... She took it. Oh, is this my green rain or is it just regular rain? No, it's just regular rain. Carp surprise. I have high hopes for our child. Okay, sure. Celeste is sleeping. Aquatic research. All right. Your cat is just a biter, really? That's the thing, Snappy has never never bitten me before, never. She doesn't do that. So it was just like really, um, it was shocking and upsetting and like emotional and just, it was horrible. <laughs> it was horrible. Um, anyway, it's okay. She's feeling a lot better now. But yeah, I was very distraught. I literally, I was like, I had to send my dad to go pick up her meds too. Cause I couldn't go. Cause I couldn't leave her. Um, yes. And on my face, I know. Of all the places, it was kind of chaotic, Snap. I had to send my dad to pick up her meds because I couldn't leave her to go get them. Um, anyway. <laughs> I wasn't even like giving her medication or anything. Like she was just on my lap. Like, uh, it's okay. Um, oh, I can move the camera a bit so you can see her face a bit more. Hold on. <laughs> Look at that thing. Does she bite Dan too? No, cause she was sitting on me. Um, she, she's, I'm wrapped in a blanket and I rolled over it with my chair now. So I'm having some trouble, hold on. Okay, there we go. She was sitting on me. She spends like all of her time sitting on my lap. Um, and she wanted to be on my lap. She stayed there afterward. 
I think she just woke up and she was scared because she like woke up and felt like she was in pain. I think is what happened. Oh, my chick hatch. Oh, this is our void chick. What should we call it? Um, I don't know. They have a lot of like flower names. Oh, Eclipse. That's kind of good. And in honor of the special day, that's cool. Good idea. <laughs> good idea, chat. I like it. I like it. All right, steal all these eggs so we can return them. Okay. And then put the rest of that away for now. Okay, I guess that's better than Owen. <laughs> Owen, I wonder why you think that. Owen is a great name, I will say, but I don't know if you want to be a scary chicken. You know? And I, I mean that with like the most love and respect. I don't know if you want to be a scary chicken. I do. Okay, you do want to be a scary chicken. <laughs> I'm gonna go upgrade my watering can today, I think, Chad. So we'll start there. And Robin's still working on our house, right? Yeah. Get five of those. Think of the power you could have as a void chicken. True. True. Okay. Um, put those away. I guess, honestly, just sell the gold quality ones. We may as well. Look how many common mushrooms I have. We need to start working more on drying all of them so we can get some more money out of it. I'm being slow. Did you like it, pineapples? I'm glad. No, the video today, I the process of getting a video out at all today, I don't know how many of you were here earlier when I was talking about it, but Dan's PC, completely broken, won't turn on at all. So he's been trying to fix it. Hasn't really had time to, to like dive into it that much because he had to edit the video for today. So I was like, I'm gonna try and like quickly see if I can record something small that can be edited on your laptop because you can't, <laughs> he can't use his computer. And then he tried to stream. Um, he only streamed for a short time because his laptop wasn't like running it that well. So he's gonna have to try and figure it out. We think it's like a motherboard issue, so that's a problem, but um, I don't know. We'll see if we can get it fixed. <laughs> it's just so unfortunate. And like, I'm not that smart with computers. Um, I only know some things. Dan knows more than I do and he doesn't know everything. So good luck. We're not thriving. That was my PC blue screening. I don't know. It's been doing that for a couple months. <laughs> not really promising, is it? <laughs> but my PC's been doing that. Um, so. Yeah, I mean, he could edit on my PC, but I just had too much work today to, for him to be able to do that, but he might have to tomorrow. Um, I had too much stuff going on today for him to edit on mine. No, we are going through it. My, look, listen to this. My PC blue screened earlier, like an hour after he told me that his computer was broken and wouldn't turn on. And I was in the middle of recording as well. My recording didn't corrupt though, so it was okay. I could finish it, but. And get this, I had literally just saved in my Sims game too, because I was considering, basically I had my Sims get married uh, in that save. Um, that's the video that I was making. And uh, I went to the wedding venue that I made. Do you remember that like park wedding venue that I built last weekend? Um, well, I wanted to use that for the wedding. Problem is it was the fall in my save. So all the plants were dead. <laughs> So I was considering cheating the season. Oh, I just broke that. Um, I was considering cheating the season for it to be not fall. So I saved, was like, hmm, should I cheat it? No, I don't think so. Blue screen. 
So I didn't cheat the weather, but I thought about it, and because of that, I had saved seconds before it crashed. So. Did she sneeze? Oh, I don't know. What did you do, Snappy? She's climbing down her little stairs. These stairs have been so helpful for her. I'm, oops, wrong thing. I'm so glad that I bought them because she has a hard time getting up right now. She'll jump down, but she has a hard time getting up things. So the stairs have been really good for her to have um, with this, especially when she was loopy on the meds because I was worried about her falling off something, but um, the stairs have been helping her a lot with getting on our bed. Um, and so I'm really glad that she has them. But she uses them well. She's very brave and smart for using them. Thank you, Sam. Good job. Okay. But yeah, she's been, she's been good about it. And for that, I am proud of her. <laughs> oh, I can harvest my first peppers. I will do that. When she almost fell down them. I know, well, that was more when she was like, because when she was on the gabapentin, she is so loopy. So like the days that she was on the medication, she was a mess, complete mess. She didn't have a single clue what was going on. Um, but, oh, I, I'm actually gonna go into the town first, to upgrade my watering can. Um, but yeah, I've been bringing the stairs with me into every room. I'm like in here right now, so the stairs are in here. Me and Snap are gonna go downstairs in a bit. I'll put them by the couch. <laughs> we'll go to bed, I'll put them next to the bed. I've been moving them around because Snap and I have been kind of glued at the hip for the past couple of days. So, yeah, anyway, it makes her very loopy, um, which is to be expected, but I was worried about her <laughs> falling and hurting herself, so. Um, okay, watering can. Yes, okay. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that I have my Iridium Scythe. I don't need to pluck them individually anymore. I keep forgetting about it. Um, I know that I have it, I just forget. <laughs> I just forget. Do the kittens get jealous of how much attention Snap gets or not really? No, not really, because the thing is, um, like at nighttime, Shrimp will be on my chest and Snap will be in my arm curled up next to me and Snap can't see him. So they're both getting like the same amount of attention. <laughs> um, but, but you know, she doesn't have to look at him and, and he's happy because he's getting to cuddle with both of us. So. Um, yeah, literally surrounded by cats. It's kind of wild. Your older cat is jealous of me and her younger cat. Oh, really? Yeah, I can see that the jealousy thing happening. Where's Sunny then? Oh, she's not usually as cuddly on people's chests. She's more like sleeping at the foot of the bed vibes. Um, she normally, her vibe is to wait until Snap leaves and then steal Snap's spot. So. Okay, I have to kill some squid kid for the wizard. It's probably best for me to just reset these levels, but I have to kill more of those little crab things. Um, yeah, they, they're not too worried about it. I think they know that something's wrong with her. <laughs> I think they're like well aware that something's off about her right now, so. Um, they're like, perfectly content with just watching her. Um, probably smells off. Yeah, I mean, she smells weird and she's acting weird and... Yeah, I'm not surprised that they're... Oh, please stop. I have to kill just two squid kids. Will there be one on this level? I don't know. The cranky cat is more cranky than normal. What's wrong with her? What's she doing? Okay, no squid. I'm gonna just reset 100. How did Snap react to meeting the kittens? Oh, she hated them. It was horrible. It, it took a few weeks introductory process um, to slowly get them used to each other through doors and stuff. It was like a whole thing. Um, we're finally in a better place now, but it was horrible. 
and I'm serious when I say that. Um, the introducing cats is like a long and very slow process um, to do it effectively. And a lot of times older cats, especially female cats, do not really take well to kittens. But Snappy got there eventually. She accepted it. I'm gonna go to the wizard now and give him the bounty that he wanted. Yeah, yeah, that happens to Hope's cat too, Owen, um, the non-recognition aggression. We had that problem when Shrimp got neutered and he came home from the vet. Sunny didn't recognize him and she was terrified of him. Absolutely terrified of him. So it made those first few days home from Shrimp's neuter miserable because she was scared of him and he didn't understand. And I just felt so bad <laughs> um, because she like loves his sister so much and she only kind of loves him. She, she's not as attached to him as he is to her. And then she hated him because she didn't recognize how he smelled. So it was like a whole thing. Only for a couple of days, but... Oh my god, I felt so bad for poor Shrimpy. It was horrible. First you have surgery, now this. And he's like, what did I even do? I'm like... I'm just existing. I'm not gonna buy that portrait yet. I don't have enough money. Only kind of loves him. No, she loves him. It, Shrimp is just way more um, affectionate and, like, uh, obsessed with her than she is with him. So, although Sunny was grooming him, like, two days ago, and she never does that, so that was exciting. He's clingy, but, like, he's a stinky giant older brother, because they're the same age, but he has older brother energy, so I don't blame her. Brothers are stinky. Oh my god, Snappy's gonna start yelling at us probably because she wants out, I can tell. She's not allowed out, so she's gonna have to deal with it. Yeah, male cats are so funny. They're so affectionate. It's so interesting, um, like, comparing them. Oh, she's back. She went on a little walk. She did a lap around the room. She got some snacks. Um, she went and ate a little bit. Uh, and now she's back in her in her spot. How much longer am I gonna stream? I don't really know. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, I make it off relatively soon. I've only been live for like three hours, and I've been streaming longer with Stardew, but I might get off relatively soon because I kind of have a headache. But I want to farm, so I'm trying to like balance it. You know, <laughs> it's like what's more important to me? <laughs> farm. Comfort, you know? <laughs> but anyway, Shrimp is a very affectionate cat. Like, he will climb onto my chest and like rub his face nonstop into my face. Oh, she's climbing around. Snappy! Oh my God, she almost fell. What is wrong with you? You need to walk more carefully. Don't go up there. <sighs> She's scratching it. She's allowed, it's the cat chair, it doesn't matter. They do have a scratching post right here, but whatever. Please don't go up, please don't go up, please don't go up. I don't think you can make it up. Oh my God, she went up. Oh my God, hold on. I'm gonna put her down. I don't really trust her to get down from there. Why are you doing that? Snap. Please don't go up. Oh, don't yell. Stay. It's because she wants out of my room. <laughs> she wants to leave my office, but I'm not gonna let her. She's being chaotic on purpose because she wants to leave, but <laughs> you're not allowed to leave yet because you have to be supervised. I guess Dan could come get her, unless he's trying to fix his PC. It depends. <laughs> Um, she's getting restless. She's showing off. She's like, I'm fine. See, I can climb. <laughs> it's time to clock out. Actually, I've been on camera all day. Um, <laughs> usually get off stream at seven, Kayla. So let's get a move on. <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> okay, I'm actually going to make a couple more. Um, I'm going to make a couple more tappers. Hi, Dan. Hey. Do you want to say hi to everybody? Hey. She left already, probably. Yeah, I 
was worried that she was going to trip over herself. She didn't. Well, she just got onto the bookshelves. Oh. Well, she's feeling good. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. I got a prismatic shot as well from the regular minds. Oh, really? Yeah, you didn't see my chat message. Oh, no, I haven't checked your... <clears throat> oh, you put it in chat? I'm not, I've been doing a real bad job with chat today. Dan, I got a huge raid I didn't notice for seven minutes. I was so embarrassed. I'm doing a really bad job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry that happened to you. I'm so like farm that I'm just, oh, it's really bad. It's really bad. <laughs> I'm terrible. What do you want for dinner? Oh, I don't know. Can you start making dinner now? Please, 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 please. I don't know. Why are you looking at me like that? I don't know what to make. Me neither. Ew, he just burped in my office. No, you can't say chef's choice to him because he doesn't ever make any decisions. You'll try and ask him what's for dinner and he just says, I don't know. I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want. Oh my God. Pick something. It's ridiculous. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna make some more iridium bars. How much hardwood? We actually have enough stuff where probably after today when we get our battery packs, we'll be able to unlock the island if we really wanted to. So, that's good. You decide right when you're ready to eat? Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, that's smart. We've been in a real kick of making pizza on Mondays, but I don't really have much that I can use to make pizza. We've been making pizza most Mondays recently. Okay, I'm gonna break a lot of this stuff in the quarry because I want to try and get some more coal. And then we can also chop some of these trees because I planted loads and then they're finally grown. You made stuffed bell peppers and burnt them. Oh no. That's so sad. I really like stuffed peppers. Me and Dan make stuffed peppers a lot. That's one of my faves, I would say. Um, how do you acquire the quarry? You have to get it, um, it's one of the things that you can unlock while you're working on the community center. You had butter noodles, cooking was too hard today. Oh, Bessie, don't worry. I have butter noodles a lot. Sometimes I, no, Kayla, you shouldn't talk about this. I have a lot of issues with, uh, foods and textures, and sometimes I can't handle sauce. Please do not judge me. I've got problems, okay? I'm not accepting your judgment at this time, but I have butter noodles a lot because of that. So. <laughs> a lot of people understand. You understand. And then Dan p makes sauce for his pasta, but then I just have butter and like, <laughs> that's it. Fake butter, nonetheless. You're not a sauce person? I do like sauce. I will eat sauce. Just not always, you know? Um, no, you're right, Ellen. Everybody gets it. <laughs> We're all the same, so. Okay. How, maybe I'll stay until 1 a.m.? I think so. Just so we can get a little bit more. I probably should have been trying to hit the coal nodes more specifically, but whatever. Um, I can't really even see because they're like behind the trees. <laughs> All right, 1 a.m. Let's go back. In the same as you would be a picky eater, I <laughs> I would. Mole, do reference Lambo. Thank you for the subs. I would. All right, well, I probably am gonna play, I think I'll play one more day. Mostly because I'm hopeful that Robin's gonna finish upgrading my house. So I think I'll play just the one more day. Yeah? And that'll be good. What's tomorrow? Can I, don't check, just go. <laughs> one more day. <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. 
Ugh, I'm terrible. I can't stop myself, but it's just too fun. Whose birthday? Oh, Gus's birthday. What can I do for you, Gus? Diamond escargot. Oh, I have escargot! I keep getting it in mystery boxes. Oh my gosh, I have a bunch of old escargot for him. Here we go. Well, look. Yes! Okay, I'm gonna go fill that because I have a bunch of, um, I have a bunch of wine ready that I can put in there. So we'll start with that. I might rearrange them before I do this. So we can maximize the space. We have seen Maru's 14 heart cutscene, yeah. It comes with some kegs, thankfully. Yeah, you get quite a few by default. Okay, and then I might go see if I can craft any more. Just really quick, let me talk to you again. Didn't know you can move them? Yeah, you can. It's pretty helpful. To make those casks, um, it's 20 wood and one hardwood. So how many should I make? Hmm. Let's see how far this gets us. Look at all those batteries too. That's really good. Okay. So typically, how I would recommend laying this out is kind of putting as many as you physically can. <laughs> I don't know if I need this many yet. I don't know how many... I don't think I have this much wine, but... It doesn't hurt to get it started. Okay. We may have some more wine ready to age inside of the, the place. We're gonna start getting rich from this. Life is good. Let's go check on the stuff up here. I do have a little bit more. Weirdly, I have cauliflower juice <laughs> as well. I'm leaving these. A lot of them are empty right now on purpose because I'm trying to get them synced back up. I'd like them all to be in the same time. We can do some cheese. I do have some cheese that we could start trying to age if we really wanted to. Um, I mostly use the casks for for wine. I'm not really a big aging of cheese person, but... Oh, you can't age the juice. Okay. Well, I guess I'll put some in there. And I'll save the rest for when we get more wine. No idea you could age cheese? Yeah, I don't really do it. I, I mostly eat the cheese, if I'm being honest, but... Um, it won't hurt for us to do a little bit of it. Okay. Lots of battery packs now. So that's a huge relief. Because I was completely out of them before that. Uh, yeah? yeah? Oh. He's asking me what I want for dinner. Okay, we're having pasta. <laughs> Not butter pasta, because I'm brave. Is it better aged? Um, cheese, cheese ages quicker than wine, yes. Oh my gosh, look! <gasps> it's my first set of trees! They grew, they grew, they grew, they grew. Okay, this is very exciting. I'm really excited about that. <laughs> I need to save, um, oh. My fences. Mario has not fixed my fences in so long. She's not helping me. 
Is that enough? I hate fixing my fences. I hate it. Okay. Hi everyone. The fences in this game make me so mad. I'm serious, I'm not a big mod person. Like, I don't really use many mods. I don't really use any quality of life mods even. If I were to get one mod, it'd be like a no fence decay mod. Cause I'm sick and tired of it. I just don't find it fun. I don't want to have to do it. I just, it's, it's boring. But yeah, some people use tea saplings as fences, but I don't really care to do that either. I like the look of fences, as long as they're not broken. So, there are, there are mods for no fence decay, but why not make hardwood fences? Because I need my hardwood. <laughs> I only have like 220 or something and I need it to make casts right now. And I also need it because we're going to need 200 to get into the, um, the island. So it's just not worth spending your, your hard earned hardwood on early game. So. Um, Pi, I think this is gonna end up being our last day today on stream, I'm pretty sure, unfortunately. Um, I think today will be our last day. Just get the golden clock! Oh, okay! <laughs> oh, in that case! Um, let me sell... a lot of that stuff. Keep the apricot, because I need that. Chop this, chop that and that, chop this one too. Yeah, the casks only work in the basement. That's the thing, you have to have the basement to age stuff. Um, okay. I have some fences in that chest. Something to keep in mind, I guess. You don't have 10 million gold saved up? You know, no, I'm I'm playing a little bit slow this time around. I haven't got my 10 million gold yet. <laughs> We're not quite there yet, unfortunately. <laughs> I've got a ways to go. <laughs> Summer year two and no golden clock? Kayla, what is wrong with you? <laughs> okay, um, maybe I'll make a little bit more I, copper bars, because we're running very low. I could probably also make myself some more furnaces. I'm gonna need to probably move these around. I don't really... I'm not obsessed with how they're like far away from the other ones, but I guess it'll have to do. You were saving up for the return scepter thinking it was only 200k. Oh no! <laughs> And then real rude awakening when it's two million. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's horrible. Okay, let's go bring um, this escargot and the apricot out for those gifts for people. And then uh, maybe I'll check if there's anything on the quest board. Yeah. Katie, Emily, Emily Kit Kat, thank you for the subs. The mega furnaces are a huge game changer. Yeah, they. I can't wait to get those. We don't have them yet, obviously. Um, but that'll be really cool once we get them. Looking for a ripe wheat? What a way to describe that. I'm gonna go try and get him a ripe wheat. You can craft five things at once by pressing shift, um, and then it does five at once. The mega furnace is one of the new things that you can get from the... Um, the, like, mastery stars. Okay, that's a ripe wheat. <laughs> I don't really know what that means, but okay. <laughs> Harvey is going to be... It's summer on a Monday. So he's gonna walk south of the fountain today. All right, I shall try that first. Gotcha. And I got a prize ticket! Yes. Okay. Um, I need to give this apricot to Emily. 
I like my wheat raw. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, Gus, I brought you escargot that I found in a box. Hope you like it. Are we friends yet? Yes, 10 hearts. Good. Um, and then Emily is gonna want this thing to- oh! She heard me talking about her. You're welcome. Okay. Let's see what's on the quest board today. An extremely rare and powerful goop known as ectoplasm found in the remains of slain ghosts. Or, the Queen of Sauce recently spotted dining on a fresh tomato. Everyone in the world wants one. Anyone who ships a hundred tomatoes by the end of the season will earn a substantial reward from the Pelican Town Agricultural Fund. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do that. I can buy some more tomato seeds. And see what we can get. I don't want to do the ectoplasm right now. Um, but we can do tomatoes. We have... I think I have 24 tomatoes planted. How much do the tomatoes regrow? Every 11 days. Ooh. Okay. So, if I put speed grow on them. Oh, Shrimpy's in here. Shrimpy, come here, Shrimpy. He's behind the couch. Shrimpy, come here. What are you looking at? Don't leave me. Shrimpy, Shrimpy. Oh my god, he's evil. He walked away. He looked me in the eyes and then walked away. <sighs> I'm devastated. I think I shall buy 48 more of these. He's massive. He is. He's significantly bigger than Snap is. So... It regrows every four days. Oh! <laughs> oh, duh. We'll get multiple harvests. I didn't need to buy as many tomatoes as I just did. It's just 11 days at first. Oh. So I have enough tomatoes. Um. Look. That wasn't my finest moment. But it's okay. I'm gonna get myself some lovely crops planted and it's gonna be great, all right? It's gonna be absolutely perfect and fantastic. Um, can you actually scoot over to there? Okay, one, two, one, two. So right there, okay. I'm going to put Around this, I'm gonna put a bunch of, um, little wood paths. Oh no, these might not be okay. We'll see. That's gonna be right up against the edge of the water. Ooh, I'm gonna hate that. But I want to have the pathway around it, because the other ones do. I mean, it won't hurt to have extra tomatoes. And you know what else I can do? I can plant some of the tomatoes down here, but like, save some of the seeds for next year or something. And put some more starfruit down here too, because I have a bunch more starfruit seeds as well. So this is good. Yeah, we can scoot now. I keep forgetting that we can do that. <laughs> if I wanted to, I can scoot around. Makes it easier. Did I put speed grow on shrimp too? No, but it does seem like I did, doesn't it? The horse is wearing a mask. Yeah, it's it's actually, believe it or not, um, oh, I have exactly enough space for this. The mask that we're wearing is uh, in fact a, oh, do you wanna try to destroy that too? Maybe I can make one more. The mask on the horse is a chicken. So, it's looking pretty good, if you ask me. <laughs> um, 
harvest that. Okay, well I can make another Iridium Sprinkler, I'm pretty sure. So we might as well. Oh my god, I don't have a watering can. It's okay, they'll get watered tomorrow. Um, my watering can's being upgraded. I forgot. <laughs> Not my finest moment. <laughs> Hello? I feel like I hear a cat screaming. And my next ticket's also gonna be a sprinkler, so that'll be fun. Getting lots more. Is this game fun you've never played? Oh my god, this game is one of my favorite games of literally all time. And a lot of people- oh, fail. A lot of people in chat are gonna agree with me on that. The seeds will be okay overnight, yeah. They just won't grow yet. Um, the only thing is they need to be watered to grow, and they can't grow if they're not watered, so. We need to move a scarecrow down there too, probably. Um, in fact, I do have a rare crow, so we should be okay there. And I have some extra fences too. I might decorate a little bit. What's the pool full of? It's got a lava eel in it. It actually just has one lava eel in it, but it's a lava eel. <laughs> I like that weathered floor. Okay. Um, all right, up and around all of this, almost exactly enough. And then I'm thinking I'll put a little fence like right there just for the vibes, you know? And I guess I could plant like a single pine cone, maybe. The sprinklers water your crops, um, but they only water them in the morning, so they'll get watered tomorrow morning. I'm liking how this is turning out, I think. I think I feel good about all this. Well, this was gonna be my last day. So I didn't put this, the scarecrow down there. <laughs> Oops. Let me put that back too. Let me put these seeds away first. Save that as well. That was important. <laughs> Those starfruit seeds cost 400 each. So we really, really do not want that to get messed up. Um, I probably want to get a scarecrow, like... Maybe put the rare crow in the middle. And an extra one over there. No, you don't need it there. It'll be covered. It's more like over here that needs it. Maybe I'll put it right there. Fertilizer? I'm not gonna fertilize them, I don't think. We could also fertilize tomorrow if we wanted to. I just don't care about it. <laughs> Harvest a hundred tomato and ship a hundred tomato. I believe I have... 12 tomatoes. Maybe I'll start by shipping 10. Bone mill? Oh, that's true. I have a bone mill. I don't use it. Should we go? There. Take all of this. I also got some peach jelly. Oh, you were saying you finally got a bone mill and then I took it as, oh my god, I should use my bone mill. <laughs> That's really funny. Um, Okay, let's make a few more iron bars overnight. Probably more than a few, because I'm gonna do like 10, but. I will make those. I'm gonna save those mushrooms for when I wanna turn them later. What if I played one more day and then dinner will be ready? No, I wanna go like take a shower and stuff. See, I wanna, I wanna have, for the vibes. We gotta hold off. This has been fun though. I have very much enjoyed farming today. I would literally farm all night, but I probably shouldn't. <laughs> so thank you all for hanging out. This has been, honestly, the fact that we got that good of a Skull Caverns run earlier too was awesome. And we're about halfway to our next mastery star. So it's not too bad to get them. When you do the Skull Caverns, you get a lot of points for the mastery stars. So that's a huge help. 
Um, so stream schedule, tomorrow we're gonna play Sims. On Wednesday, we're gonna play Stardew. Oh, and get this, also on Wednesday, I'm going to a tasting with the caterer that we're thinking about hiring for the wedding. So, fun plans on Wednesday. First farming, then catering tasting. <laughs> um, so that'll be kind of interesting. I'm curious to see how it goes. I don't really know what to expect from it. Um, it's raining. What if this is the green rain? It's not. It's regular rain. Okay. <laughs> uh, but it should be interesting. I'm, I'm kind of nervous because we've been like asking to have a fully vegetarian menu, which I think some people think is weird, but it should be fun to go to the tasting because there's a lot of stuff. Um, expect lots of food. Yeah. <laughs> there, when you pay, it's a hundred dollars, but you can bring four people and they'll take it off the cost of your catering when you, um, when you like, if you book with them, I guess. But so my mom, my sister and Dan and I are all going. Um, so it's going to be fun. It's actually, I don't think that bad. <laughs> so, um, you're getting married. I'm actually already married. Um, me, me, me and my husband, Dan got married a couple years ago. We went through like a whole long visa process cause he's from the UK. Um, but we didn't get to have like a wedding wedding because of COVID and stuff. Um, so we wanted to have like a celebration kind of, um, but like it, at the time the borders were closed so his parents couldn't come and like it was, you know, a whole thing. But we had like a time crunch because of the visa. So um, anyway, <laughs> that's not going to be until next year, the wedding, but we've been planning it for the past couple of months. So um, anyway, <laughs> she's getting married again to Dan still. <laughs> Thanks for specifying, Brew, that it is still Dan. Um, but yeah, we're, I'm getting double married to Dan specifically, actually. So <laughs> anyway, have a good rest of your night, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out. Um, this has been a lot of fun. You know, I love to farm. I really had a good night tonight. I needed this. Um, so thank you very much. And I will catch you tomorrow um, where we play some Sims probably. I think that maybe we could go over and say hello to, oh, you know what? Steven is doing a shell challenge, my friend Spring Sims, and he's raising money for Hope for Haiti today, um, which he does every year. And so I think it might be kind of cool if we went over to Steven's stream um, and we raided him and supported his charity fundraiser. He's doing, like I said, a brand new shell challenge and everybody loves a shell challenge in The Sims, right? So <laughs> let's go over and say hello. Um, Bella and T-Brain and Leah and Katie, thank you for the subs. Um, but have a good rest of your night and I'm gonna send you over. Thanks for hanging out. Bye! <laughs> and stop the 